CSR, we are back. Episode 22. 22 for 22. Double deuces. That's my lucky number. I am Doug. I'm stupid. And I'm Justin. <laughs> and we are not doing shots this week. <laughs> you sound like the dude from the ever did, the, the everlasting story. <laughs> yeah. The fucking dog thing. Get on my back and ride. <laughs> Come on. We're, oh, we're going down. <laughs> Like I said, we're not doing Hold shots. <laughs> oh, he's a big one. We're going down. <laughs> Maybe we should do shots. <laughs> so, all right, sorry. But we are. Get it. As you can tell, we're pretty relaxed. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're back. Episode 22. Um, new year. Happy New Year, guys. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New, new year. year. We are. Hey, we're starting out another year again. 22. We are flying right along with these episodes. Episode so. 22. Year 2022. Yep. Yeah. And we talked about. McCaffrey, twenty-two. Yeah, but you know we don't want to. We're not. We don't want to get that. injured. We don't want to get injured. Yeah, my so, hamstring already hurts. So we're gonna. We are gonna change the lineup a little bit this week. Um, just to kind of change it up a little bit. Um, but we're gonna start out this week with the. We're actually gonna do a tribute, right? Definitely, right. And this is this is pretty big, man. Um, and we'll all comment on it. But we're de- we're kind of dedicating, I guess, the episode definitely um, to Miss Betty White. Mm-hmm. They're legend. Um, the un- legend uh, who unfortunately passed away. Mm-hmm. Um, and she was 99 years old and mm-hmm. would have been 100 on the 17th of January. Yep. And uh, you know, being the old guy of the show, I watched the Golden Girls. I think it's fun. I, I, I yeah, just I've seen it. the Golden Girls. Yeah. I, I know um, friend of the show, um, Jay Z. Or uh, listen to me, Jay Z. F and Z. You know, uh, yeah. with, with sports, I know T Bone is a big. He's a big Golden Girls guy. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, so, but yeah, man, I think she's the last one of the group. Yep. Um, but unfortunately, man, I think I don't think there's I've ever heard anybody say they didn't like Betty White, dude. If you didn't like Betty White, you, you're a communist and yeah. just get the fuck out of our country. Yeah, so, something's wrong. But you know, unfortunately, again, she passed away, and uh, I think Stephen actually has some. Uh, some i guess some fun facts that yeah. maybe some of us didn't know definitely so we already said she was 99 years old born january 17th 1922 mm. seen a lot of stuff in her yeah. lifetime I, you know between the years of 1922 and 2021 i mean she's seen it all yep i mean what else i mean what can you say years active in hollywood 1939 till the year she died 2021 wow um numerous awards oh yeah I mean, you, I mean, I've got the list here. I mean, it's just crazy how many awards she has won. Five primetime Emmy awards, yep. um, three American Comedy Awards, four TV Land awards. Cool. So I mean, it's just it's just off the charts how many awards she's won and nominations she had. Um, did you guys know during World War II she did volunteer for the American Women's Voluntary Services? Cool. Oh wow! So I did, she, and I did not know that she would go in and just kind of. It was in obviously it was. I mean, it wasn't obvious, but as in Hollywood, she would go and help out any way they could, whatever they needed. She would help out with. Um, she is known as the first lady of game shows too. Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, because she would go out and help out with you know any of these game shows going on. Um, I mean, she helped out with numerous of them. Um, actor acted in a lot of TV shows and films. The biggest shows were the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Yep. Um, she was Sue's and Sue, Sue Ann Nivens. Yep. And, and, I rem- and I remember her on there. Yep. And then the Golden Girls, obviously uh, Rose New- Neeland. Yep. Newland. Yep. Newland. Um, and then Rose she had, Nyland. Nyland. Mm-hmm. Um, then she had kind of a you know kind of a lull in her career, and then she kind of got a surge after that 2010 um, Super Bowl commercial. Snickers when she got tackled. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> um, so, you know, just, you know, tribute to her, man. Like, what a legend she was. Yeah. No, honestly. I mean, and I mean, and again, you know, if, if you haven't ever watched The Golden Girls, I mean, it's your typical, you know, sitcom, sitcom. Uh, laugh track every time somebody talks, mm-hmm. so, which we could do a podcast on that, by the way. I have a get off my lawn with that. Yeah, that's true. Um, but anyway, you know, it's, it's just a funny show, man. And it, and it ran its course. And I did see Stephen talking about facts. I did see an article where, um, she had talked about that she thought that the series could have won a, probably win another couple of seasons. Probably, yeah. But um, I think B. Arthur, who played Dorothy, mm-hmm. actually kind of got bored with the show, thought it ran its course, and since she wasn't happy, they just went ahead and ended it. Well, I mean, I feel like you couldn't have the show without all four of them and, being and on it. That's yeah. basically what they said. So that was something I didn't know when I was looking up stuff when she had passed. Yeah. So. But, yeah, I mean, go out and check it out, man. But um, Betty White, man, legend. Yep. And just just because it's a sports podcast, she was a big Cleveland Browns fan. 
Um, she lived in Cleveland uh, for you know for a short time doing yep. was it hot in Cleveland? Hot in Cleveland, I think. Yeah. Um, and then she's a big Ohio State Buckeyes fan. So I'll leave that alone. Yeah. <laughs> and she actually had her own TV show too. She had the Betty White show. Yes, she did. She had the Betty White show. Sure that did. was TV. I think it was an actual like a radio yeah. show too yeah. as well. Yep. Um, so, hey, Betty White, cheers to you. Cheers to your life. I hate to see what 22, 2022 brings us because you died right before it happened. So we'll see what, yeah. <laughs> we'll see what goes. Yeah, that's true. Zombie um, apocalypse, save your ammo. You know, and, and, and another thing, talking about the unfortunate passing of, of legends and people. Yep. Um, you know, our last podcast, we talked about John Madden. And everybody likes to talk about how a lot of times this thing's happened in threes. Yeah. And, you know, I don't know if you guys, you know, remember, but Dan Reeves. Yeah, he did. Passed away as well. Mm-hmm. So that's like they say threes. Um, you know, he was a he was an NFL player, coach. I mean, he I, big time. I mean, the guy did a lot in the NFL. So mm-hmm. wanted to mention that too. Yeah. So, well, rest in peace, Betty White. Yep. Yep. Rest in peace. They, they'll do an episode of Golden Girls up there. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. Yeah. So You're golden in my heart. I tell yep. you that right now. Yep. <laughs> so. All right, so anything else, better, Betty White? Anything? We're good? Then we're good. Justin? I know we had some crazy storms after she passed. Uh-oh. Yeah, I thought the world was ending after she passed. Man. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was 70 here, then we snowed, then we had crazy storms. Yeah. You know? Like, waking w- me up storms. Like, wind going, like, 50 miles an hour in North Carolina. Yeah. Earthquake. We had an earthquake, too, I think. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, well, like, yeah, we did. On that one day, it was, like, it, it was, like, 78 one day. Yep. The next day, it was snowing and, like, Raleigh and Durham, mm-hmm. and there was an earthquake. Yep, yep. So I was like, "Well, Jesus, so, take me." <laughs> she's she's Mother Nature. Maybe so. Oh, we talked about Mother yeah, Nature. Maybe she is. You know, in our Christmas episode. Yeah. So maybe your snow miser or heat miser, she's Mother Nature. <laughs> so there you go. Please, Betty White, be nice to us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be up there soon. Uh, but Hopefully yeah. not too soon. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, again, I mean, it's a pretty big loss, comedy loss, you know, in the yeah. comedy world. So again, tribute. We wanted to make sure we did that. So do her justice. So rest in peace, Betty White. All right. So we've changed it up a little bit this week. We are going to go ahead and talk about Panthers. Unfortunately, I guess we're going to talk about the Panthers. Rest in peace, our Panthers. <laughs> yeah, rest in peace, our season and predictions. Um, right. Yeah. But just uh, always think about this, guys. Um, You know, we're always, you know, beginning of the season, we're all, you know. Rah, rah. We all, man, had the Panthers just kicking ass. They were going to be playoff team. I need to go back and look what our huh. our season projections were. Oh, it's terrible. Our record projections. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we all had like nine. and I think I might have been. 10 and 7 or maybe even 11 and 6. I think you had the highest one. I did. I think I did. Well, I had 7. I, had I know me. And, I think me and you were one off. Yeah. And I mean, then you you might have been like two behind me. I think it was. I think I did like 9. 9 and I think I was 11 and 6, I think. Let's see. Let I mean, see. we'll go back and check it out, but I just know we were very optimistic. Very. Um very. But that's that's went to that's went to shit so very <laughs> very quick went to hell in the handbasket <laughs> yeah jesus Christ. so but yeah man so we're, we're, we're last week we kind of feel like we didn't really hit all everything uh, all so. right we found so it. what you got all, all right. right what you got so dougie 10 and 7 oh i did say okay 10 and 7, seven. justin what do you think you had nine and eight nine and eight okay i was 11 and six uh, so, so I was, you were 11 i was ve- i was very optimistic so you were the 11 and i knew I was, somebody yeah. was well i know you were talking about just saying right 17 0 well, right. I did. I did say that, yeah. but obviously that's not going to happen. But you just, we just thought, you know, the beginning of this year, holy shit, you know. Well, honestly, the the beginning three weeks, we were like, we were three and oh, oh, okay, we were yeah. three and oh. Yep. So, but now, hey, we're five and eleven. So we were three and oh, and we're five and eleven. Do the math. Went two and eleven since then. Not very good. So we're going to go ahead and touch on Panther news. We're going to talk about the Saints game, and then talk about the last game against the Bucks. Mm. So take it away, guys. Well, you want to go Panther news? Let's, you want to do news? Yeah, let's do news first. I got some news. news. Let's go ahead and do news first. All right. And then we'll get into the game. Unfortunately, get to the game. Yeah. Um, let's see. What do we got? Um, I know there were numerous stories, um, national stories, uh, that were not very flattering to what they were calling our franchise right now. Jesus. <laughs> One of them was, quote, a cluster buck. Mm. Quote. That's what he described it. Sounds about right. Yeah. So that's very... Hey, Tepper, are you listening? Um, It's just... It's unbelievable, man. It talks about how... And then the story came out, guys, about how Tepper supposedly was embarrassed and unhappy about the contract he signed. 
Why would you? Him. But see, my question is, why give a college coach that long of a damn? I think everybody felt that way. Well, he was at, he was bidding against the Giants. That's exactly what he did. He got into a bid war with the Giants. I just don't understand it. But go, go ahead, go ahead, Justin. You like you're saying something? No, no, no. Oh yeah, I'm and, just I, listening. I mean, it's just the stuff. Like we got, you know, they talked about um, since the three and zero start. They were talking about Darnold. Um, Darnold was 141 for 257 for 54.86%. Four touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 58.2 passer rating, two fumbles lost, 13, I guess, turnovers in eight games compared to Jimmy Clausen in 2010. And Jimmy actually had better. 157 for 299, 52.5, three touchdowns, nine interceptions, 58.4 58.4 passer rating, two fumbles lost, 11 turnovers in 12 games. Jesus Christ. That's how bad it's been. I had to mention that. Jimmy. So. If he's playing worse than Jimmy, that's pretty I bad. I mean, that's pretty bad. And if we're going to talk about the Jimmy Clausen era, I feel like he got thrown into a, a, and, a, oh, yeah. a terrible situation. Steven, I'm glad you said that because I totally agree. I, I, I feel like he was, was he was set up for failure. It was John Fox last year. He didn't give two fucks. He got pulled in 17 different directions. You're the starter. You're the bench. You're – he got thrown into a shit situation. Fox, then. unfortunately, was a lame duck coach. Yeah. Um, and I agree. I, he got thrown to the wolves. Totally. Totally and 110%. So, I mean, I, I do agree with you on that. And, I mean, he played for, I think, he backed up, like the I think, in the Ravens. And he didn't do bad as a backup. Nope. I'm not, he, saying, he, I'm not saying he should be a starter. He but, played for the Bears for a while. Right. Yeah. So, I'm just like. He was a solid backup. I, I just feel like his year with the Panthers, especially that first year's rookie year, Thrown to the wolves. Yeah. Like 110%. I totally agree. Um, Another fun fact. Since 2000 or since 2018, Panthers are, and they say you got to win your division, right? Panthers are 6 and 17 versus the NFC South. Since 2018? Since 2018. Mm, Sweet. So that was before Brady got there, too. Is that a little telling? You got to win your, your division games, man. You got to. Yeah. Um, well, it just sucks going from Drew Brees' heyday, dominating to the you know dominating the NFC oh yeah. South. Oh yeah. Then Brady comes in, and starts dominating the NFC South. Yep. I mean, Matt Ryan has his crazy years where he'll go off. It's a tough division, man. Yeah. It is. It is. It's an underrated division. It, it, it very. Um, here's another one to make y'all feel warm and fuzzy. Carolina Panthers are one loss away from finishing with the worst record in NFL history for a team that started three and zero. Yep. And the only reason is because you got the one extra game. Hey, can you give me a beer? <laughs> the 2001 Chargers you and 20. One. I actually and, need and one, 20, but after hearing that, I definitely need and one. And 2012 <laughs> Cardinals went 3-0 and to 5-11. and Wow. Panthers would be 5-12 and if the Bucks beat them on Sunday. Wow. So how, y'all feeling good? How are we feeling, guys? Uh, when I get this Bud Light, a lot better. I freaking love it, man. I'm, I'm freaking pumped. I'm myself a beer. I'm pumped, dude. Hey, can you get me one while you're at Sorry, dude. You, you're the one. Yeah, Doug. I'm the beer bitch. You're, you're the one sitting next to the hey, fridge. But he's but he's dropped there, gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, he is. All right, so I'm I'm keep I'm scrolling. Y'all chime right in, man. Oh, if we're chi- we'll chime in. Oh, I'm chiming in. Um, but I, lap. I, I must see how many more I got. Um. Oh, here we go. Panthers QBs were sacked 14 times versus the Bucks and Saints back to back games. Yep. But you know what? Well, seven back to back games. Yeah, but y'all know what? John Miller said after the game Sunday. What did he say? It's the NFL sacks happen. Seven sacks? Sacks happen. Two sacks happen. That's what Miller said. Three sacks it's happen. It's the NFL pass blocking happens, oh, too. Yeah, yeah. And y'all saw some of the footage on his, his I'm going to call it blocking, air quotes. Is, it he, is he the one that was blocking his player, his own player? I saw that one. No, no. This is the one where, like, you know, what, Cam Jordan got, what, four, three and a half sacks? Three and a half, yeah. There was one last one. I think all he did was, like, touch him around the waist and just followed him around to the quarterback so it, he didn't even try to get in his way so it was like a slow dance out of middle school yep that's pretty much what it was oh, okay sweet let me guide you to the quarterback that's what i mean that's basically what it was jesus christ and then yeah he's but gonna that. he's gonna get on his press conference after the game and, and get like he's pissed off and oh well it happens in the nfl man come on dude well so all right so here here's what i'm gonna say about that Seven sacks in one game, it, it does happen. Yep. Yeah. I mean, am, the, I, am I wrong? The Steelers just had nine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I did. So it does happen. But back to back games, yeah. that's that's a trend. Yeah. That's not like an anomaly. Yep. You've had two back to back weeks. Yep. 
two sacks happen, like I said. Yeah. Seven sacks don't just happen. It's not just because it's the NFL. You're in the NFL too, buddy. Yeah, something something's wrong. Like, you're in the NFL for a reason. You're supposed to be able to def- defend against these fucking pass rushers. Yeah. And my, I mean... Do your job a little bit. Yeah. Like we said, the Patriots say this, and we don't want to, you know, we know about the Patriots. Yeah. They always have this mantra, do your job. Yep. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, do your job. Don't do your job, you don't have And you know, Cam said that. In the last pe- press conference that Cam had after he started. Yeah. He said that. Do he your said job. everybody just has to do their job. It's the NFL that happens, mother. That's what he said. Sacks happen. He's a fucking idiot. So I had to throw that in there because I mean, what what are you gonna say, dude? I've got some other stuff that'll probably Stephen be more toward the, the Bucks, where we talk about rule. Okay. In general. Okay. So I'm gonna save that for that. All right. Well, we'll get we'll jump into the Saints. All right. We lost eighteen to ten. Hmm. We are now five and eleven, like we said. Saints are eight and eight with no quarterback. So yeah. just. And just can make the playoffs this week. We're just throwing that out there. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna pat myself on the back. Okay. Both of my predictions were correct. Oh, cool. We scored a touchdown and we held them to 100 yards rushing. <laughs> Under 100 yards rushing. Get so, him. An, get him another beer. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Offensive wise, 178 yards of total offense, which is sad. Right. I mean, Darnold 17 and 26, 132 yards, an interception, and a fumble. So. Okay. Well. Mine, weren't, mine wasn't too far off. What'd you have? I said we'd score 10 points. Okay, right. I said we would get an interception, which I don't think we did. Mm, don't think we did either. And I said we'd lose 27 to 10. <laughs> so I got the 10 right. Yeah. I did get that right. <laughs> so there you oh, go. Oh, I was close. There you go, Justin. So I, that's offense, right? Right? Oh, we, well, I guess we combined it all. Yeah, we just said uh, Yeah. yeah. So, what, what was yours? Well, I mean, the Marshall thing. Y'all remember that? Yeah, yeah. and he caught a couple passes. Yeah, but it wasn't 12 for 200 yards. No, well, it wasn't you. Yeah, and you scored it and add up and all that stuff. Uh, no, but someone did get a sack, and my prediction was 17 to 10. So that's one point off. Oh, that's pretty fucking close. My yeah. score prediction, I think, was 28. What the hell? Mine was 27. I can't, 10. Remember, I can't remember. Mine was 2017. Um, so, well, oh, shit. Scroll and we down. actually led at halftime. Mm-hmm. But l- like Doug said, Sack seven times again because sacks happen for 42 yards. Well, back happen. to back hey, weeks shit, with seven. Shit sacks. happens. Only 88 yards rushing with 26 attempts. Chuba. Yeah. One rushing touchdown. But they you gave want, him the ball. They you did. Want, talk about that, Justin. That's how they, they did. did. They did. I mean, 17 carries, 55 yards, and a touchdown. Yep. And the touchdown was pretty nice. And three catches, too. Yeah. He actually caught the ball. He dropped a couple, too. I mean, that's fair. I remember there was one play where I specifically said, that son of a bitch has no hands. But, he I mean, we, we were in the game, and I think that Chuba running the ball like that puts us in the game. Well, you get first down, you control the game. Right. You control the clock. I mean, we had – what time of possession was 30 minutes. Yeah, I mean – That's you, not bad. You, yeah. can, you control it's the half clock. the game. Yeah, you control the clock. And I talking about running backs, I thought Abdullah had another good game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Now, can we all just shout this out? Th- Ian Thomas led this in receiving yards. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Three that's catches. That's, for, what I, that's what I think of. Three that. catches for thirty-three <laughs> yards, and he led us in, in receiving yards. Yeah, it's pretty. And bad. I'm pretty sure Abdullah led us in receptions. Mm-hmm. I think he had four. But Stephen, one of the things that I think me and you noted that the last time he caught a pass, he, at least he didn't drop it after he caught it and ran with it this time. Remember that one? Yeah. Hold on. Miller Lott. All right. Miller. Miller Lott. Miller Lott. But yeah, when's the last time we had a tight end catch three balls? Not many. I don't know. Ask Joe Brady. I don't even want to talk about that motherfucker. <laughs> you know we're averaging less everything since we fired him, right? I, I know. Yeah. Oh, what I you, know. Hey, Nixon, you're doing an outstanding job. We're going to have to re, retool the whole side of the it's that's unbelievable, ball, man. Man. Yeah. Unbelievable. Coaching-wise. Like, right. we need a new offensive line coach, new offensive coordinator, new pass game coordinator, all that. Yep. Everything. It's ridiculous. Just clean house, bring in a new one. We're, I, I think we've talked about this. Bring back Chudinsky. Yeah, where we said where's he at? Yeah, witness protection program, I think. Yeah, I don't mean I don't. Nobody knows where he's at. Yep. I mean, we went six of fourteen on third down. Oh, oh for one in the red zone. Just nice, pitiful man. Like, what? What else can you say, honestly, about the offense? Sad. It's just it is. It is. It is literally sad to watch. In the very first drive, which was obviously scripted. Yeah. I mean, Donald looked pretty good. He did. 
He did. I mean, we moved the ball. But of course, when, we got in the red zone, didn't score. But when we get away from the script, yeah, what I, happens? And, that's, and that's, that's, that's what people were talking about this week. When you get away where Darnold has to actually make decisions. Make reads. Exactly. It goes to shit. As we said, how many times have we already said that? And he's, I mean, he's a young quarterback. I mean, that comes from coaching. It's, it's him too. I'm not putting, well, the, sure, I'm not sure shifting the blame just sure for him. Is. Sure is. But at the same time, we should be teaching him. He's still young. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You know, unless you're just a natural fucking yep. gift at quarterback like Rogers or something like that. Right. He's still, I mean, I would still say gotta coach the kid. He can still be developed. He still could. Um, but you know, one of the things but, I noted, and I think I text y'all. There was one point in that game, and I know there was one point where we were backed up in the end zone. And I know I texted to y'all. I said, Donald looks scared to death. Mm-hmm. You can see it in his eyes because he was getting hit. He was getting smacked. I mean, right. but you could see it. He was. It was almost like he was like, oh, shit, as soon as I take the snap, I know I'm getting hit. But at, one, at what point but sacks happen? do you say that Donald just stops being a project? Yeah, you, yeah, you're gonna have to stop that because he's been point. in the league how many years already? Yeah, this I is mean, fourth. fourth I mean, he's still year? young, but what four, f- fifth year? Fifth, yeah, fourth, fifth year. fourth year. It's his fourth year. Okay. Yeah, because we're picking up. We're picking up his fifth, fifth year, year option. option. Right. You've right. got four years already in the NFL. Sure. You should already be, you know, kind of used to what's going on. Well, I agree with, and you, and you think about this too, Justin. You're right because he's gotten reps. Yeah, it's not like he hadn't got reps. He's gotten, he's gotten, plenty of he's reps. gotten reps. Now, you know, I'm I'm gonna be devil's advocate sure, this week. Sure. Now, what coaching has he had since no, he's been in the no, NFL? I'll, I'll agree with you on that. None. Now, he does he have the reps? Sure. No, but I, do, I agree with you. Does practice make perfect? Is he gave? Is he getting good reps? Now, now, does practice make perfect, y'all? I mean, they say it does, yeah. No, perfect practice makes perfect. You have to be. You have to have the right coaching so and the words, right. When you're in practice and you don't have, you have the people telling you that had no idea right, what the fuck's going on, right. what to do. That's what you're practicing. It, it, that's so what it looks words, like. As, as as us on the football team right now, we have inept people in those positions, so we looked inept on the field. Right. We don't look like we know what we're doing. So in other words, if you're, uh, and I get what you're saying, Stephen. If you're practicing and doing the same thing, but it it's not. It's not good enough, but you're still practicing. Yeah, you need to be. It's the quality yeah. of the practice. Exactly. Right. I, I can. And, I, and the, I can understand. The way that. I say, perfect practice makes perfect. That's like taking it to the extreme, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like, if you're practicing bad habits or the wrong things, that's what you're going to do during the game. You're going to get the same results. Yeah. Exactly. Unless you're Allen Iverson, and we talking about practice. 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 practice? No. Practice? We talking about practice. So <laughs> I, I get what you're saying. When does he become not a pro, you know not a project more? It is he, he is who he is. Right. I get that. But at the same time, he's only been in your, the league four years. Still, he's young. He's younger than Burrow. Oh yeah. Yep. Um. So I, he still has time. Still time to develop. And I think he has all the talent in the world to to get there. Can he can he tap into it? Is yeah. the problem. Like if you I, give I, him the right coach. Yeah. And I honestly think he needs a veteran NFL coach yes. to come in and tell him, stop doing this shit and do it this way. Or, or at least a veteran offensive coordinator. Yeah. At the very yeah. least. NFL. Yes. NFL, yes. yes. And, and you know, he said while he was out, one of the things that he noticed going back and looking at tape of, of when, he, when he wasn't playing well. Right. He said he talked about footwork. Mm-hmm. That's all he talked about. His footwork was bad. Footwork was bad. Mm-hmm. So obviously he feels that's something he's got to work on. But it, like you says, Stephen, if he's not, if he don't have the right coach who's teaching him proper footwork, how's he gonna fix it? Now, is it some of it's on him too? Sure obviously, it is. sure it is. During the off season, you go to these quarterback camps, you go to these people that can teach you, yeah. right? But you well, know, well, that was a knock on Cam too. Yeah, his but, foot, his footwork was terrible. But, but Falling there, off his back foot. All but that. during the season, you can't just go to your quarter. You know, these people's, you know, camps. Right, you're exactly, not doing that exactly. during the season. Yep. So you're going to revert back to what you know best, and that's the wrong thing. Right. Well, the thing with Darnold is, you know, obviously he's going to be here next year. Oh yeah. Um, we picked up the fifth year option. Eighteen million dollars. He's going to be here. Now, whether he's your starter or not, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I personally think Darnold is not a bad option as a backup. I agree. Um, I just it just depends on what we do in the offseason. I don't know what we're gonna do, I don't know where we're going. 
I don't know who we're drafting. I don't even know what to I, – I just know our offensive line, it does not matter. Oh, we're drafting an offensive line. We could have we could have Rodgers back there. We could have whoever. It doesn't matter. Our offensive line is garbage. Oh, God. It's garbage. Those guys are stealing paychecks. It's the dump. It, it's garbage. But sacks happen. Don't forget that. Please. That's the motto of, the, of this NFL. show. Yeah. The, you know, not shit happen. Sacks happen. Sacks happen, yep. Y'all, just, get, y'all start get, using that. I'm going to get that as a shirt. Sacks you know happen. what? We should do that. We should, we should do that. Um, but I mean, I just I don't know where we're going. And I agree with you, Justin. I think we'll. I have I have a different, and we can talk about that later if we talk about draft. I have a different, um, I guess, course of improving the offensive line versus drafting. Mm-hmm. I just have a different way of looking at it. I think free agency is the way to go. Well, I mean, that's kind of the trend with with top tier teams because they're already NFL ready. Mm-hmm. Versus and and some guys coming out of college are Justin they're they're NFL ready, but they don't have the experience. I'm not saying we shouldn't draft an offensive lineman. That's not what I'm saying. I think though we should try to get a couple of veterans in here, you know, instead of just drafting a bunch of new new linemen. Well, and also getting the right veterans. Yeah, exactly. Cam Irving, come on. Yeah, he's your he's your guy. Why would you not call Patrick Mahomes about that guy? And right. and they said he was terrible there. Like, come on. But, like, I don't know who looks at free agency. That's still the scouting department that does the scouting for drafts. Right. But, like, right. come on. I mean, F1 wasn't great at guard. He's played good at center. He has, we, we, he we, has we, played okay at and center. Which we've all agreed on. But, like, these two guys were the lowest graded at their positions. Right. And we rushed out and got At them. pass blocking. And we, and we like you said. We went right out It was the them. second day of free agency. Yep. And we and we threw a bank of money at, at both of them. Yep. So, and and to, to the drafting a rookie – you know what you were saying, Justin. Christensen has not looked bad at left tackle. He has not. And I don't. I guess his arm length, <laughs> joke, well, joke, 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 right. is why for some reason Rule is not sold on him at left tackle. Well, he doesn't want. To, he doesn't want to be wrong. Is this fucking thing? And I'm yeah. telling you, he's looked pretty good over there. But like, I think me and you had talked too. Is like maybe we run with Moten and Christensen one more year at them at tackles. And maybe build up the interior of the offensive line. And we go to I we like go that. Linderbaum. My Iowa I like boy. That. I like that. We go Linderbaum. We have a guest today. Wait, is that Kitty? That's, That's Kitty. Kitty. Where? Right there. Damn. Kitty's making oh. an appearance. No oh, shit. Sorry. We talked about Panthers, and she went Panthers. And <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> well, I, I couldn't. I couldn't see it. That's like the first time we've ever seen so the cat. She, but at least she. Hey, the, that could be the CSR mascot. Holy shit! <laughs> she did. She poked her actually, head around. I her. actually saw her face. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. So there we go. First right. time ever. Hey, baby steps. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'll bonk all right. my head. Okay, back on topic. But no, <laughs> um, the the center from Iowa, Linderbaum. Yeah, I think yeah, that's oh, his yeah. name. That dude, I'm telling y'all, he's gonna be the next. Oh yeah. Pro Bowler, All Pro, whatever you want to call it. You know, I mean, I, I have. You know, from I have, your local Hawkeye. You know, I have to talk about Iowa. Yeah. Because I screenshotted the hell out of that when yeah. I saw it. I was like, okay, here we go. You know, Justin's the local, local, the local Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Let's go. Which, by the way, did Iowa win the Citrus? All right, we'll, we'll talk about we'll that later. Okay, never mind. I, we'll talk about that later. But, all right, well, let's get back on the Panthers. <laughs> um, but I agree with you, Justin. I think that guy's going to be – he's going to be – that guy's going to be a stud. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Maybe we beef up them interior. Yeah. Okay, can we do a challenge to you? If we draft him, will you get his jersey? Yes. Boom! There it is. I will get an offensive lineman jersey. Silent manager. Whoop! There it is. Silent manager. Tech guy. Only if he wears number sixty nine. You hear this? Nice. If we, dra- <laughs> if we draft, I was all pro center, or I guess all American center. Yeah. And he is. He's, he's yeah, projected he's to be good. Stuck. Yeah. Mister Iowa has to get his jersey. I will. And you have to wear it. I will wear it. So you should Every go day. ahead. You should go ahead and start three three sixty five. Get sixty nine. So you need number sixty nines available. <laughs> oh God, please wash it. You're a stinky fuck. No, I'm gonna wash it. Oh God. All, all right. right, all right. Well, all right. We'll get back to the same game. <laughs> we we can't let off topic a little bit. Well, I mean, what else you want to say? Um, Chuba was my player of the game of offense. Anybody have anything? Different? I agree. I agree. No, I agree. Yeah, man. Marshall. Marshall. He had two catches. I almost I, went. Ian, I like it. I almost went Ian Thomas. I mean, less than receiving. Look, they're but actually, I agree with you they actually threw to him. So I agree with you on Chuba. Uh, defense side of the ball, still no opening drive touchdowns allowed. Yeah, and let's go. That's a plus. So silver lining, guys. That's silver a plus. lining. That's a plus. They give up 280 yards. Only, only gave up 280 yards and 18 points. That's not that bad. Yeah, it's not uh, bad. whatever. 
Um, Hill, you know, 220 yards, 222 yards a touchdown, 45 yards rushing. Kamara had 100 total yards of the touchdown. Callaway killed us. Now he did, but he and was, they bottled up Kamara. They did 100. It's, I mean, and, until the second half. Yeah, I mean, and Callaway only got us on like crazy catches. Oh yeah, it hit him with a slant. He would just fucking drop it. Yep. But triple coverage, and he's having to jump over people. Like the one he went up over somebody. Yeah, yeah. he's catching it. Um, was that was was that um, Taylor, or I was think, it Hartsful? I can't. Remember I think it was one. Hartsful. But he went up over. I think yeah. it was Hartsful. And and I mean and and Tyson here got nailed mm-hmm. as soon as he in the end zone. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that only happens to us. Exactly. Only happens to us. Yes, it does. Yep. Um, we did have two sacks though. Jammy Jen. Jammy Jen. Dalek Brown. Dalek Brown. Dalek yep. Brown. Dalek Brown. He got a sack. A, he had a sack. Jammy Jen. Jammy Jen. Dalek Brown. Yep. So Brown's uh, playing good. He he did play. Yeah, he had a good game. Yeah, he and actually showed up. You said uh, Luvu was tearing it up, bro. Luvu played well. Luvu Holy played shit, good. he was all over he, the field, dude. He played well. If we don't give him an extension, they they should resign. And he yeah. was my player of the game, honestly. He played well. He, he was a, he was a presence. He had nine tackles, three for tackles for a I loss. Agree. I agree. So he played well. And he played well. Can we all just just take a second? Say Because I'm about to hit you with the fact. Say it, man. We had one penalty for five yards. Damn. Holy shit. I did not realize that. One penalty for five. I've been looking at it. That was it? One penalty, five yards. Huh. Now, did they maybe that was something they didn't accept you know whatever we probably had more but it wasn't accepted. but officially yeah one penalty five yards wow that's some discipline guys hey we didn't beat ourselves no we still did <laughs> yeah hey just now need, with penalties but you need to take a lap uh i'll do i'll do one push-up <laughs> take a lap be a new segment later <laughs> <laughs> but yeah but i mean i don't really have much else to say about the saints game other than our place kicker whose name i cannot Hulu. Whatever it is. Of course, he missed one. Yeah. He hit one, but he missed one. Those past 30 yards. Yeah. So, I, I do – I mean, I, I don't know. We we all like Gonzalez, right? Oh, yeah. 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 I, I Hope, think that's our guy. Hopefully, we get him back next year. Yep. Um, But, yeah, the kicking game, too, is just crap. Yep. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. anything else on the Saints? Other, yep. than, other than I despise that franchise, and I think it's a dirty freaking – I can't stand them. I hate them. I'm just telling y'all, I hate them. Guess what? They hate you too. I, I hope they do, <laughs> and they should. And you know what? We hate Kevin James. I yeah. can't. I just can't because because I actually like that guy. Me but too. I, but I can't believe he's doing that. But I, again, I want to go on record, and and I said this during the game to my wife. I absolutely despise everything about New Orleans franchise. Everything. I don't like anything about. It. I hate them. I can't stand them. They are number one on my list. I hate them. I just want to make that up. I hate them, man. This scale, scale 1 to 10. Doug hates Saints. Scale 1 to 10. In hate? Yeah. 11. I despise the Saints. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like Duke hate. Okay. No, I mean, it's there. All right, so I, I'm going to throw this out to you. Yeah. So you have two scenarios. Okay. Saints win the Super Bowl. Duke wins the National Championship. Mm. Which one are you picking? Saints win. I can't pick Duke to win anything. Wow. I can't. Duke Duke is to the core. Okay. No, I mean, it's – dude, when I say core, it's hate that's unhealthy. I told you I need help. Okay. I, I will never deny that. Okay. So – and the Saints are, like, right there. Gotcha. So, Can you hit 13? 13. 13. Fuck Duke. All right. There we go. All right, well, now we got the Bucks. We got uh, Tampa Bay. Yay. Yeah, we'll just go through this real quick because there's really not much to talk about. And remember, Aaron said they're not going to rest their starters. Oh, they're not resting? They're not. And the last I saw, the eight, the not, I think the, the line is eight. Yep, that's right. Yeah, because I even tweeted the other day, only eight. Yep. But yeah. the line is eight. I think it was worse than Charlotte. Yep. Well, I guess they were more healthy, yeah. too. Well, I mean, but they eight. don't have AB, so. And we'll, which we'll hit on here in a minute. Yeah, so we are 5-11 again. Like we said, 5-11, guys. Five and I'm going to bring up a fact. I'm going to bring up something, Do something it. up, too. Do it. Later on. Tampa Bay, 12-4. and four. Mm. We got flexed to 425. Let's go. For some we fucking did. reason. And we've Flex got. Flex it to we didn't play and we just take a loss. And yeah. guess who's doing our game? God. Nance and Romo. No. no. Nance and Romo are doing our game. I don't mind Romo. You know, no, no, I'm saying that's the number one crew. Yeah. They're doing our game. And mm. it ain't for us. No, hell no. And do you guys remember the score like uh, two weeks ago we played them? Yeah, I remember. I was there. It sucked. We scored six six points. Yeah, 32-6. Um, 
And I want to bring some up. Actually, this is totally off topic because you brought up the announcers. I used to hate Jonathan Velma announcing our games. Well, he was a saint, you know. I yeah, mean. but you know, he actually doesn't do a bad job. Yeah, well, just saying. All right. Anyways, <laughs> so well, I hate Drew Brees too. Screw him too. All right, we have a problem with that. Hey, man. One. <laughs> Drew Brees is. I like Drew Brees. Drew Brees is a good dude. I just hate he played for the Saints. No, I agree. How okay. about that? Okay. How that, about that? Totally fair. How about that? Can, totally. I, can I retract that? Yeah. Okay. Fair. All right. What do you guys want to say about the Bucks game? Go, go, Justin. Gross Matos is out, which sucks because he was playing very well. He's on the protocol. Remember, yeah. Stephen, the protocol. protocol. Um, um, AB got cut. Yeah. Which... Do we want to talk about that? Well, yeah, we'll talk about it in a little bit. Oh, okay. We will. Sorry. Um, I tell you what, we'll finish up the NFL talk with that. Yeah, I think we do is that. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. Other than that, I hope we lose. <laughs> Because you want to get the center from Iowa. Yeah, I mean, I just, it's point. Like, we went to the watch party and people were sitting there, like, trying to win Come this game. Come on, why aren't you playing? I'm like, yeah. dude, if. And again, we. But if we were going to win a game, what did you say, though? You did it's say you wanted to win this game. You to get, you, yeah, and you did game. say that. Yeah. yeah. If but, we're going to win, I want it to be this game. Because right against the Bucks. Yeah. Either but, one either one of them. But right. we have one on record as, as a podcast and as fans. We we don't actively pull against the Panthers. No, we don't. We I'm don't. not. I'm not. I don't want us to lose. But, but you're not. Right, you're not going to be butt hurt if we do. But what is the point <laughs> of I'm, winning? Though? I'm being realistic at here. this point. You're what, looking in the future. But yes. yeah, winning is going to hurt us more sure, than sure. Yeah, than losing absolutely. right now. We. I mean, we win this game. We go back in the draft. We're not winning the fucking Super Bowl right. if we win this game. Right. Like, what's the point? Well, we're having, bragging it's not, rights. It's not do, we're do we fighting get, to get in the playoffs. Do we get temporary bragging rights? Yeah, like, it doesn't well, even matter. We beat the, the, the Super Bowl do, champs. Do, do we, though? Because they're well, still going to go off and probably win the right. Super Bowl. Yeah. So, and it goes back to another fun fact, talking about the draft. Y'all know if the Redskins, oh, 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 what'd I say? The fuck did you the just say? You say? The, the, the football team. If they beat the Giants the this Red week, Wolves. we move up. Good. So, come on, Rivera. Well, I know last week we're all pulling for, I think it said if the Bears, the Texans, and the Seahawks win. Mm. Right. We got top five pick. Right. Everybody did it but the Texans. Yeah. yeah. Well, and they were winning. It's because we beat them. They're mad. You bitches. <laughs> but this week we can move to five if Washington football team. The Red Wolves. If that, yeah. It yeah. should be. Yeah. If they beat the Giants. Yeah. Who beat us? Who beat the wheels off us? I'll beat the brakes. Yeah, so. Um, we'll just throw out the you just gonna throw out predictions real quick. Sure, there's really not much sure, to talk sure, about. Sure. Um, my prediction again: score touchdowns because we didn't do it the last one. <laughs> Offense. Oh, did that, was that supposed to change that? No, I was. Okay. okay. Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. yeah, yeah, go, man. Um, I'm gonna go. This is bold. I'm gonna go. Chuba gets 100 yards rushing. Oh my god, that that's bold. No I touchdowns. Like no, I like that's bold. Yeah, I like 100 it. yards rushing. I like it. Yeah. Okay. That's offense? Yeah. That's your offense? I'm going to say Abdullah gets 50 yards receiving mm. and a touchdown. You like it? Cool. All right. Justin, you go with your defense. I want you to go first. Um, I really didn't know what to say, so I just really want the defense to hit Tom Brady as much as they possibly can. <laughs> the GOAT. Cool. I don't, I don't even care if they get sacks. Just hit him. Just hit him. Yeah. QB hits. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. Dougie? You may go first. Yeah, we get one sack. Let's one. Go. I'm with you. You know Justin, why? Because we didn't get any last week. The because, last time. Because sacks happen. There you go. <laughs> Count. You have somebody that want you want to give it to, or yeah, just you're, you're just sack. saying whoever doesn't matter. Just are you giving? Are you giving it to? I, their offensive lineman could actually tackle him. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it like would, having us. It might still count as a sack. It might. No, I don't know. Defense. I I don't even know what to say, man. Um, Hold them under twenty-one points. No, that's not gonna happen. Um, let me see. Uh, oh, you were talking about one sack. Why don't you give that sack to Miller? Because <laughs> why? Because <laughs> sacks, sacks happen. happen. Um, we got we got to set it together. Ready? Sacks, sacks happen, happen <laughs> baby. <laughs> and I hope he <laughs> listens to this podcast. Fuck him. I hope he does. Listen to it, dude, because we're we're giving you some props. Fuck him. De yeah, yeah. Defense gets one turnover. Okay. One turnover. I don't know if it's a fumble, whatever. Mm -hmm. And we hold them to under 30. 
Under 30. Okay. Under 30. Cool. Nice. All right. Score score prediction. Uh, 24-6. 24-6? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's under 30. <laughs> well, don't steal my score. 29 to 10. Okay. 29 to 29 Under 30. You noticed that. Well, fuck your bowl prediction. 31 <laughs> to 10. <laughs> <laughs> Until you went over 30. I, I, I had it already written down. <laughs> okay. All right. We're close. Yeah. Okay. So, All right. Cool. Yep. So there you go. So what? Okay. My defense was. Okay. I got it. Okay. Cool. One turn. All right. Under 30. All right. Cool. This is all doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, who cares? but but we we agree if they win, you know, yay. But so, if they lose, it's more beneficial to us moving forward. Yeah. Definitely. That's is that fair? Yeah, it's totally fair. Okay. And cool. so you know, you know, something we never had in our franchise, which is very sad, is consecutive winning seasons. Never. So, do you guys know who holds the most consecutive seasons without a losing record in NFL history? In history, no, no, I don't think I do in history. You should. <clears throat> you pulled for him. Yeah. The Cowboys? Yeah. Oh, wow. From 65 I to I would have guessed, if it would have been me, I would have guessed somebody like, you know, the the, the Packers and back in the day. Yeah. Um, but from 65 to 85, it was, oh, wow. it was the Cowboys. Wow. 21 seasons. Well, they had Landry. Yep. Do you know who's second? Steelers. Nope. But you're close. They're third. With 18 seasons, 20, 2004 to 2021. Steelers, yeah, I would think. So, so second. second. Patriots? Patriots, 2001 yeah, it's to 2019. It's got to be. Now, can you guess the fourth team? Because you probably won't. Doug, I'm going to say, real quick, it took me two tries to get this. What, this one here? The, yeah. four, the fourth? So you got to beat me. The fourth one. Okay, you said, so, so let me review. So it is Cowboys. Yep. Patriots. Patriots, Steelers. 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 And they're all different. It's not like repeats, obviously. So, most consecutive seasons without a losing record in NFL history. You're looking for the fourth spot. I'll give you how many seasons. 17 seasons. It's from 57 to 73. Vikings. No. Shit. Raiders. No. Shit. The Cleveland Browns. Oh, wow. Gotcha. And they were good. It had to have been when they had um, Jim Brown. Yeah. Yeah, it had to be. Wow, that's. I mean, that's good because I wouldn't. I mean, look, thinking about it now. Okay, okay. Yeah, but they they've been so sorry lately. You, you forget. Oh yeah, know? that's why um, I said them. But like, but I mean, that's kind of just a cool thing. Like I mean, the Browns have that. You know, they've. Well, had, I mean, they have know, they've history. Had, they've had a rough yeah. stretch. They have history, so, and they know, have a solid fan base. Man. Yeah, they're yeah. loyal. So I mean, kind of okay. shout that out. You know what I mean? Like, but that no, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Then just rounding out the top five. Um, the Raiders and the 49ers both have 16 seasons. Okay, so the Raiders, Raiders, Raiders were fifth. Yeah, tied okay. for fifth, yeah. Okay, 65 cool. to 80, and then the 49ers were 83 to 98, okay. which is when they were on their dominant run. And I'm sure 65 to 80 was when Madden was there. Okay. And I was alive during that whole time. You were alive during the 57 one, Since I you? was born in 65. <laughs> I think you've been alive since the dawn of time. Well, according to him, well, you know, I've been around so, well, since, you know. Well, listen, Betty White was born in 22. Oh, God, he was just go. graduating from college in 22. <laughs> and he was already 30. Yeah. Yeah, he was 45. He went back to school. Well, there's people. To get his there are people in this room that are really enjoying this right now. <laughs> I won't mention any names. <laughs> no, no. So. All right, I, but I, yeah, I'm still here. I'm still kicking. So that's that's just <laughs> NFL news. I just thought that was crazy. I saw that. So no, that's, that's the, good. That's good. I saw the the teams on there. I'm like, that's obviously the Cowboys back in the day. Right. You know, right. Patriots was right. pretty much the the dynasty growing up now. Right. You know, so. But I mean, you know, Stephen, it goes back to what we talked about last week and and before the show. We our respect for Tomlin. Yeah. And what he's done. Right. Yeah. Um, so, and I think as fans, that's all we've ever asked for out of the Panthers. We just consistent. want consistent relevance. Thank that. Here you go. Uh, so is, we've been, is that good? We've been consistent. Can we, we put that on a t-shirt? Consistent, consistent, consistent relevance. relevance. I mean, because I can, I'm not even saying, I'm not asking for Super Bowls every year. I'm not asking that necessarily you win a division every year. But damn it, be in the mix. Yeah. You know? This don't, year, I don't, mean, don't go fifteen to one. Next year, go freaking <laughs> six and ten. Exactly. Can't, no, go. I would like relevant or like consistency. Sure. Um, well, we are consistent. We're, Honestly, I w- I would 
I would trade that for once or more. Yeah, now I agree with you on that. Yeah, because some people don't even see a Super Bowl. No, no listen, I, in their lifetime, just I get that. I totally because Super Bowl Fifty, man, I I just knew that was the one. Right? I, well, it should have been. We're gonna get it, and and I don't ever have to worry about never. Because as a Cowboy fan, guys, I won Super Bowls. Right. Right. And and again, you guys have always been Panther fans because that's all you've ever known. No. That was our one. So I've experienced my NFL team winning a Super Bowl. Right. But not my hometown team that I now pull for. I think the biggest thing, like what D- Doug is saying, is just like the roller coaster. It's just like, oh, we're fucking, oh, we're good, we're really good, we're really good. The next year, and then we shit. we get right. on, we get on Fury, and then, and then oh, good, good, good. Then we're shit. We get on Fury, and it's then, then we're shit, 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 good, shit. I'm tired. Right. I'm tired of the up and down. He's right. I'm tired of this, you know, feast or famine. I guess is the way to say it. But then, then if you get the holy thing about being consistent relevancy, sure. like you said, sure. is then you get just stuck in the fucking middle. And well, you can't take that next and step. Yeah. And there are some teams that are like that. Yeah. Um, but I'd a whole lot rather be that way than be like this. Yeah. I, I just, I can't take that. So, there like you said, at least we're in the mix. Yep. Be in the mix every year. But I agree with you. Jesus Christ. I go through, I go through 30 years of poverty just to get one Super Bowl. Yeah. And I think we all agree with that. And we're almost fucking there, just, by the way. <laughs> and then we got tech guy over here who's got, you know. Don't remind me. Freaking sick. He's got, he's got Super Bowl rings on his nuts. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. Or you, you could be like our other buddy, buddy Tyler. Oh. And then every and single. Sarah. And every, Sarah. Yeah, and Sarah. Yeah. Uh, every single level of sports. The, I mean, Sarah and Tyler have been alive for probably 50 parades. Yeah. And and that's where the, we talk about Boston sports fans, Stephen. Mm-hmm. They're they are, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be conservative when I say this, Stephen. I need you to. Are, do you would, would you think they're a little spoiled? Oh, if they're spoiled rotten. Would 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 you agree with that? Fuck yeah. And I'm being conservative when I say that. No, You're a yeah. lot spoiled. You. They don't remember the dog days when the Patriots sucked mm, asshole. Nope. And then they had the Bambini curse with Babe Ruth. They don't mean the Red uh, yeah, Sox yeah, really yeah, sucking. Yeah. Yeah. Celtics. They've never really sucked, sucked. No. All they I mean, they had the dog days of like when Paul Pierce was by himself. The, and then, Bru- the Bruins were solid. When, you know, then they all of a sudden got the big three. Yeah. And when it started going on their yeah. run. I mean, it's crazy. They man. remember Tom Brady, David Ortiz. Yeah. And Paul Pierce. Paul Larry, Pierce. Larry Bird. Rondo going Larry, off. Larry Bird. Larry Bird. Larry Bird, yeah. And even when it was just Paul Pierce, I mean, they had like two seasons that they were bad, maybe, but they, they were still relevant. Yeah, but they were still yeah. good. Yeah. They were relevant, though. They're at least eighth seed, seventh seed, whatever. So I think we were agreeing that we would all be uh, – we would kill for, like, one of our teams to be like that. Yeah. No, yeah. just the Panthers. Well, yeah, just well, Panthers. Yeah. But, I mean – We got the Braves right now. I mean, if the Hornets would would take the championship. <laughs> dude, holy shit, dude. Can you imagine if the Hornets won the fucking – That's what I'm saying. I think that actually, honestly, not for us, but the city of Charlotte – I think the Hornets winning a cha- NBA championship would be bigger than the Panthers. It'd be crazy. I mean, that was our, honestly, well, I honestly think that Stephen. I mean, they were our first big pro team. Yeah, I mean, they were. Yeah. Man, I'm telling y'all, man, when the, when the Hornets and, and we won't go too crazy with this, but when the Hornets, we're, we're going into the Hornets next. When anyways. they came no, going to, the to being, I mean, it was huge, guys. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was. I mean, you go back and look at the video, and I was there. I know you're smart ass. You're gonna say something, but people wore tuxedos and shit to the game. Right. I mean, it was an event because right. we had never had anything like that. So I do. I agree with you. I think if the if the Hornets, good Lord, if they could somehow win it, oh, man, it'd be crazy. It'd be like one of them fucking co- like a, a college town winning. A, it would be crazy. A championship oh, yeah. game. It really would. Everybody rushing. Pushing over a fucking car. It, would, it, would, be, the, it would be crazy. Pooping in elevators. Take that. So is that a good segue to the Hornets? No, well, we're, we're, supposed to go the, we're supposed to go to the Canes. Let's I'd, do Canes. My we're, mic was in the way. Who have won a Stanley Cup. Yeah, they have. So. And they're twenty three seven and one, motherfuckers. Dude, Let's the, go. They're the they're the best team in the league, I think. Yeah, I, and I'm not saying that as a fan. I just think they're the most consistent team. But I feel like, and this is gonna sound crazy. I compare them to the Warriors because they can just turn it on like that. They can, like whenever they want. Doesn't yeah, matter. They can yeah, be they down. Can. They didn't turn it on. Dude, that comeback the other day was unreal. Right. I we'll, mean, I mean, we can go ahead and talk. You want to talk about it? We'll get we'll get to it in just a second. It was crazy. Yeah, it was unbelievable. So again, we're twenty three seven to one with forty seven points, fifth in the Eastern mm-hmm. Conference still. Mm-hmm. Um, Tampa Bay's one, Florida's uh, two, Rangers are third, New York, Washington's fourth. But for the first place and the sixth place team in the Eastern Conference is only uh, there's only a difference of three points. Yep. So it's a tight race. Right. Tight race. I'm going so, to piss. Okay. Are you good? 
So um, our first our first game since the last podcast won four zero against Canadians. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, Canadians. Yep. Uh, Tara Vinen had two goals. My Nino man. blame Canada. No. Blame Canada. <laughs> Nino had a goal. Jarvis had a goal. Yep. And Renta. Yep. Twenty six saves. He had a good game. And then talk about the Blue Jackets, man. Yeah, man, that game was crazy, man. I remember we, um, me and my wife were in the car and it was i think it was two nothing when we were listening Mm -hmm. and then i think it was three nothing then i think it was four nothing and then the cane scored like right away yeah four one and then we'd given up on it you know because that was um what new year's day it was new year's day because we were on the way to their house for for new year's Mm -hmm. you know dinner and I mean, I'd given up. I'm not going to lie. I'd yeah. given up on his 4-1. I was like, they ain't coming, they ain't back, coming from back from that. And the next thing I know, I get a notification on my phone. Canes win 7-4. to four. Yeah. I was like, you have got to be kidding me. And I even held it up and showed her. I was like, they come back and won this game. Not like just won it. They like, well, that's like seven unanswered goals. So they went. Yeah. See, I didn't have that, but they yeah, went. Because I mean, it was 4 nothing. Yeah. So they they went down three goals in the first period. Mm-hmm. I know that for a fact. Yeah, and I think that may have been where we picked it up. And so, three nothing. So and then so in two periods they scored seven goals. Just boom, boom, and it boom. Seven zero. And uh, Lorenz two goals. Nino another goal. Mm-hmm. Shnevetsvakov one goal. Your, your guy. Say yep. it again. Say it again for Justin. Shnevetsvakov. I heard it. Yep. <laughs> Don't know the fuck how to say his name. Bear one goal. Shkeski two goals. Who? Yeah. Our, those are our, our defensive guys. Yeah, Bayer got a goal. Get, get, but, I'm, but I mean, you know, Skitsky? seven goals is big anyway. Oh yeah. But to be down four nothing and come back and win seven to four, and that was at Columbus. Oh yeah. I mean, that was away too. I mean, that was mm-hmm. a away game. I mean, that was crazy. And you know what I thought was funny? I went back and looked, and there were a lot of. And I know you're shocked. There's Blue Jacket fans. Yeah, there were Blue Jacket fans. No who shit. Who were tweeting, talking all kind of crap. This is going to be the worst, you know, butt kicking you guys take all year and blah, 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 blah. When the people, after it was over, yeah, that tweet aged real well. Yeah. You know? Yeah, there were people, a lot of people, you know, backtracking on what they said. But, man, that was a, that was crazy. I, I just never expected that. No, me either. Like, what the fuck? But see, you got to give the Canes credit, man. That's the kind of stuff they do. But that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I compare them to, like, the Warriors, like, in the yeah, NBA. It's crazy. Or, like, man. the Chiefs in the NFL. They can just turn it on. And when they turn it on, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Like you had you had two defensive guys score three goals. Like, come and on. A lot of times that doesn't happen. No. I know there was a couple of short handed goals. Yeah. On power plays. So it's so. just it's just nuts, man. Um Canes, they're doing good things. The next game against the Maple Leafs was postponed. Mm-hmm. Um blame, so blame Canada. Blame Canada. <laughs> so the next game is against Calgary and the Flames on Friday. Blame Canada. So fuck you, Canada. Still but, love you. And, and I love to go to Canada. Justin, let me in. Oh, yeah. Justin, you have anything on Canes? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna push our watch party. Nope. I was gonna throw out stat. Our, oh, go no go. Our stats. Um, Aho does lead us in points with yep. 34. Nope. Tara Vinen is second with 25. Yep. Shemetsvakov 24. <laughs> Anderson is 17 and five. Rodanta five two and one. Nice. Boom. So but, but the Canes are doing <laughs> the Canes are doing their their, their yep. business. Man, they handling business. So take warning, bitches. Um, you know. Love it, and again, I, I was—I well, think we were talking about going to a game. Oh yeah, we're still talking about that. But we need to do that. And Justin, if I, I'm trying to remember, you've nope. never been to nope. a hockey game, right? Pop that cherry, bitches. dude. It is—it is nice. So we're definitely going to plan doing that. Oh but, yeah. Um, we are this week um, looking to the the Lake Norman Caniacs, mm-hmm. who are a group that we all are members of, and we go watch the games. We are looking to this week. We're going to have a watch party again. At H2 Public House in Cornelius for, I think it's Saturday night, 7 o'clock, against the Florida Panthers. The Panthers. Hmm. I get, I don't know, Panthers. <laughs> I thought we got past that. Yeah, but they're in Florida. Yeah, but that's our next watch party. Come on out. Um, hang with us. Um, Justin, are you going to be there? Maybe. 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 And if you are, what will you do if somebody has something for you to sign? Oh, I'll sign that shit. <laughs> so... Yeah, so we are again. We're gonna have that. Um, I don't give a fuck. We're gonna have a watch party. So come out and support us um, out at H2 Public House. All right. Yeah, come out there, guys. We'll drink some beers. We'll, we'll maybe crack one with you. Yep. That All would right. be fun. That would be a fan crack. Yeah. Cool. That would be good. We'll take some pictures. All right, and we got a we got a note here. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh cool. A mysterious note. Cool. We'll we'll, we'll hit this one. I guess yeah, because we're done. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do this. 
I'm going to go back to NFL real quick because okay. this is like, a, I guess, because, you know, I went to UNC or Charlotte. All right. So Benny LeMay, running back, that went to Charlotte, mm-hmm. he actually signed with the Browns. Oh, okay. Just, just breaking news, man. Nice. And he's been with the Col- – you know, he scored a touchdown in the preseason against the Panthers with yeah. the Colts. Uh, but that's cool, man. You know, my school. So Benny LeMay is now a Cleveland Brown. You know, I was playing Madden the other night. Did you Did you play him, man? And uh, I saw him in free agency. I was like, you know, I should pick him up just for Doug. <laughs> you should, man. I was like, nah. Yeah. I so, picked him up and then immediately cut him. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how the real work. This is for you, bitch. Doug. <laughs> cut. So, uh, again, appreciate Silent Manager giving me some Niner update. So that's, that's good. So. What happened to the TV? That's our timer. Oh, I was oh, like, are we already at an hour and a half? I was like, Jesus um, Christ. <laughs> so, all right. So, we're going Hornets. Hornets. And I just talked about the watch party. Hornets. So we're good. Hornets. All right. Let's Hornets. go Hornets real quick. And let's we're go. good. This whole new lineup thing really fucked me up. It <laughs> really nah, is, we're good. Dude. We're, good. <laughs> we're going Hornets. <laughs> like, we've talked about all this and still haven't done cracks on. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, this is kind of weird. So, uh, Hornets. Yeah, we're uh, 20 and 19. Which, by the way, I'm sporting. God damn it. Got the Hornets thing going this week. You look very good. <laughs> gotta, gotta throw it out there, man. You gotta support the team. I can just hear the like the logo. Hey, you gotta support the team, man. Yeah, gotta can support everybody. Hear and that? I went old school. You gotta support the team, guys. Hey, look, yeah. I went old school. Yeah, I gotta support the team, you, guys. You Don't go. worry. So, right. but nah, man. It, Hit it one more time. <laughs> I, I hope y'all can hear that. <laughs> Screen right. print. I hope they can hear that. <laughs> they will. But uh, so, they will. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, we're twenty and nineteen uh, since the last podcast. We are two and two. Um, we had a dub over the Pacers, uh, one sixteen. Who, by the way, we're three and zero against now. Let's go. Scary Terry went out there and said, "Fuck y'all," and dropped thirty five and seven rebounds. Uh, Lamelo had twenty one, twelve, and nine. He almost had a trip dub, which is very sexy. Um, everybody's taking pictures right now. Hey, don't even do that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe y'all, man. I didn't even do that to the. Uh, crap state beer y'all brought <laughs> so. oh, hurry up tech guy yeah we'll wait we'll wait <laughs> tech guy go ahead good so we're not good. in the middle of... oh my bad all right you gotta edit that one we're doing hornets man <laughs> <laughs> shit what is this man is this like live picture taken it's fine keep going <laughs> so. all right we had a loss against the suns um 133 to 99 we sucked ass the um, suns are good yep book killed us too yeah, you did. I think he had like almost twenty in the first quarter. Yep. Uh, but Lamelo had seventeen and Uber had fifteen. That's about it. Yeah. Uh, then the Wizards beat us one twenty four, one twenty one. Uh, Bridges had a double double, twenty three points, fourteen rebounds. Hayward had twenty seven and Rozier had twenty five. So we were scoring, we just couldn't finish the game. I feel like when Hayward plays good, we lose. Right. Is that is that kind of a trend you yeah. see? When he scores like fifteen. Like, I feel like we win. Yeah. If he scores more than 25, I feel like we lose. Yeah. I, I feel like you're, you start, I think you're right. He starts shooting a lot. Yeah. Um. Then we whooped uh, the Pistons' ass. 140, 111. Uh, that, was, that was nice. And we, take we take got, that, Detroit, Rock City. Yeah. And we got a boy that dropped hey, uh, my boys. seven threes in the fourth. Eight. Was it eight? It was eight. eight. It was eight. See, I got a notification that says seven. Yeah, it was eight. But maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it was eight. But anyways, he went nine of fourteen from three, dropped thirty two, and what he was. Go ahead, Stephen. You got a stat on that? Yeah, I'm with those stats that you sons of bitches. Oh, you're, All right, you're he, vocal. he had <laughs> buzz. He had <laughs> eight threes in the fourth quarter, so he only need two more to set the record for threes in a quarter, which we're gonna touch on in a minute. Yep. Um, Clay Thompson in 2015 had nine, so he was only two away, which is the NBA record. NBA record. Let's repeat. NBA, NBA record. Record. Okay. record. And he got pulled. And we'll talk about that in, in the, just a second. In two segments. Yeah. So. But did you guys know we did set the franchise record did we, for I did, threes? I yeah. did see that. What was it 24? 24. 24. Do you know what the previous record was? Ooh, I do not. I do not. It was 23 in 2019. Mm. And we shot 57 from three, by the way. Like is, that, that, is that a team record? or That's a team record, yeah. Okay. Franchise, yeah, that's okay. team. yeah. yeah, that's team. Total team. Um, we shot, I mean, almost like close to 60% were yeah. sniffing 60%. Sniffing, sniffing. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty dangerous. Yep. You can't be a lot of teams when they're shooting 60% from three. Yep. Oh no. Right. I'm right. just saying. Yep. As bad as Detroit is. Especially when you're dropping 24 of them. Yeah. Like that's going to be hard. Right. 
So. Um, but Ball did have a double double, twelve points, twelve rebounds. Um, Hayward and Bridges had nineteen. Mm-hmm. So, but the man was. Uber, Uber. Uber. And he's been the man all year. He is, Dude, man. He's been, I, I, he's I mean, we've, we've, we've all praised him on this podcast. I think it was a great pickup. Yeah, again, thanks, Steph. Mm-hmm. Um, but, we, yeah, love the guy. And he's where's my favorite number, 12. Oh, nice. Another fun fact. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> hey, if you add your favorite number and your favorite number, you get my favorite number. Oh, yeah, 10 and 12. That's oh, kind of, we're oh, just wow. like a trio. Oh, wow. That's kind of freaky. Is, we didn't even plan that. Yeah. No. That's kind of freaky right That there. is pretty freaky. Yeah, it's kind of odd. And we're episode... 22. 22. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's all coming together, guys. <laughs> so, But uh, our next game is against the Bucks on Saturday at 7 o'clock. Sweet. The Bucks. And they just... Uh, you want to you wanna talk about your boy? Yeah, we can talk about it in a second. I'm going to talk about oh, our okay. stats real okay. quick, and then, we'll get, and then we'll get to NBA do news. Um, Bridges is averaging 19.5 points, 7... Uh, point two rebounds and one point two steals. Ball is averaging nineteen point three points, seven point three rebounds, seven point eight assists, one point seven steals. Ubre, sixteen point six points per game and thirty eight percent from three, and that is a career high. So he's killing it, man. Yeah. And most of that's off the bench too. Like yeah, that's a, yeah. I mean, he he started re- a little bit, but he's really in contention for uh, six man of the year. Oh yeah. I mean, how could you not be? Yeah. I don't know who else could compete with him right now. Not but, many people. Yeah. So. I did see where, like, Mello was there was another one of those lists that he tends to make. Um, I believe it said only player this season with 600 points, 225 rebounds, 225 assists, and 50 steals. Mm. You know, stats guys, they find that yeah, he's stuff. He's killing it, dude. So. Well, real quick, guys. All Star ballot came out. Yep. Oh shit! For votes. Yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah. yeah. Did, so I right now, Bridges is eighth in front court votes, and Ball is fifth in guards. Hmm. Do it. Fifth. Wow. Fifth. Yep. A lot of people in front of him. Well, I mean, you got the East, like. Yeah, it's loaded. You got Levine. Like, yeah, it's all loaded. these dudes. I mean, yeah. it, it is loaded. And Levine's. Levine's Chicago. Killing. Chicago's killing it. Yeah. Um. Trey Young. <sighs> Trey Young. Anyways, Trey Young is good though. I mean, oh, he is. he's very good. He yeah. is. Um, but like you said, uh, our game against the Bucks, the Bucks did just cut a really good big man yep. that we could probably use, DeMarcus Cousins. I agree. Um, so, hey, Borrego, you know, Jordan, cup check, look at him at least. Yeah. Would you just look at him? Just look at it. Um, another thing I kind of want to shout out to, um, Danny Green. You know, he played for, he was a Tar Heel boy. Former Tar Heel. So and a national champion. Yeah. So <laughs> he's making some infamous news right now. Oh. So he had 24 minutes last night. You know what his stat line was? Hmm. Oh, he had zero points, zero rebounds, zero assists, zero steals, and zero blocks. This is the most minutes by a player with a that stat line since Tony Snell in 2017. <laughs> Dang. So in 24 minutes, he literally did nothing. Wow. But run up and down the court. Wow. God. Wow. Just saying. Um, they did retire Dirk's number yeah. yep. in Dallas. Yep. We got to shout that out. Which they should have. Dirk Should have. Oh, hell yeah. Probably, what, the best, I would say, the best European player ever. The dude's good. Oh, I yeah. would say. Yeah. You know, would you guys agree? Yep. Um, did you see what Jason Kidd told him, though? Uh, yeah. He said, we're handing out 10-day contracts if you want to come back. Dude, what, oh, the hell, wow. what the hell is going on with that, by oh, the way? Wow. Like. They're like Mario Chalmers is coming back. Dude, they're bringing everybody back. Uh, Greg Oden. Who was the other one? CJ another... Miles. Um, God, there was there was the other one uh, we were talking I about the other day. Another big name. I can't think of the name though. Yeah. Oh, Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was Joe Johnson. He's forty years old. Yeah. Um, but he's staying in shape. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then um, Becky Hammond. Yeah, Becky Hammond, the Spurs assistant. She just signed a uh, five-year deal with the Las Vegas Aces to make her the league's highest paid coach in WNBA. Oh, nice. And she's been coaching with the Spurs for a long time. So Yeah, I did her. see. And it's, she got paid. Yeah, yeah. So kudos to her. Kudos to Dirk. Sucks for Danny Green. What the fuck, dude? Yeah. Not really making us proud mm-hmm. here, buddy. You know, he's, got, he's, got, he's got ring. Yeah, he's, he, he, don't he got his money. But come on, dude. I mean, at least put up a point. I agree. A rebound, <laughs> assist, a steal, a foul, something. Does, does it feel like anywhere he goes, he gets his championship? Though? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, he does. Yeah. And you know, coming out of Carolina, I knew he was good, but I never, I never expected him to be that good, especially three point shooter. Oh yeah, he's he's a three and D guy. I didn't expect that. Oh yeah, dude, killing it. I didn't. So. All right. Anything else, Hornets? Um, nope. I think I'm good. NBA signed to Marcus Cousins. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree with that. I love a god. All right. NBA. Anything else? NBA. We forgot anything. Nope. All right. Cool. Steph. Steph. Three thousand threes. Yeah. Cool. There you go. Yeah. Cool. Um, friend of the show, local kid. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they retired somebody else's number. I can't remember. Mm. I don't know. I saw it before Dirk's thing, but I don't know. If you have come up with it before the show ends, bring yeah. it up. You have a computer right in front of you. Yeah. Mm. So. So what's next? Are we going to the place? The zone. We're going to the zone. I know you guys are wondering. We changed up the lineup. We're there, man. We need it. We need a break. Let's do a zone. It's kind of really kind of throwing us all. I mean, I don't know. It is, man. We're all kind of like feeling off a little bit. Like it is kind of a little off. <laughs> but man. we're going to do the zone. Let's go ahead and go there. All right. Cool. All right. And and this week um, we had a sponsor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that provided the adult beverage this week. And that is friend of the show. And Lake Norman uh, Riot President. El Presidente. That would be Chris. Yeah. And, and an alum from UNCC. Absolutely. And, and that's what we got. We got the pick and roll. Yep. And that's the second edition of Niner Beer from Cabarrus Brewing. So yep. go ahead, Steve. Uh, so again, pick and roll by Cabarrus. It's a pale ale. Um, Which it, is a basketball theme. Yeah, it is a basketball theme. Yeah. If you guys didn't know that. Pick and roll is pick a basketball is a, ba- is a basketball play. Yep. Um it is a six point one percent alcohol okay. volume. Okay. Mm. And it has a beautiful logo. Does it? Beautiful logo. That, looks like that. Does it kind all in C. Does it kinda wait, does this kinda look like another guy we know? Does it look like Yosef? <laughs> no, nah, man. Are you sure? A forty nine er and a mountaineer. They're not they're they're similar, but looks kinda the same. No, nah, man. Okay. No, nah, we'll see if it smells like the same. It smells like shit. How about that? Shim- <laughs> All right. So, all right. So hold on, silent manager. You good? All right. Everybody ready? All right, three, two, one. Crack Go Niners. It. Sniff taste. Oh God! Wow. And what kind of beer is it again? Mm. A pale ale. Pillow. Man, that's pretty. That's, that's pretty, pretty strong. That's pretty strong smelling for a pale ale. I feel like the alcohol content is pretty strong for a pale ale too. Six point one. Yeah. All right. So all right. Hold on, Justin. Have you already done your initial? No, I haven't even tried it yet. I've All just right. done the, the sniff it's, sniff test. It's definitely. All right, here we go. Remember, Stephen, you got to wait for the second. And I can reset the palate. All right, uh, I'm looking at Silent Manager over there, and she's doing some, some head bobbing over there. She, who is actually representing the Charlotte Niners. <laughs> that she is. This might need a... A third test. Hold on, that's number two. <laughs> go ahead, tech guy. Okay. Um, Sheesh. Can I go last? Sheesh. Since I'm an alumnus, Sheesh. can I go last? Please let me go last. <laughs> no, you're going first since you're oh, an alumnus. Wow. Oh, wow. They say age. Watch, oh, here comes the tech guy taste test. Didn't they say age before beauty? The tech guy taste test. Oh, he's got the he's got the faces going. Tech guy, did you do the sniff test? Or sniff, t- taste taste sniff taste. Uh, it's not looking promising from yeah. tech guy over here. All right, we're good. All right, who want who want you want to go first? I I'll go first. Let me go first. All right, yes. Yeah. So on a scale of one to ten, one being the worst fucking thing ever put in my mouth and 10 <laughs> is the greatest thing that's ever touched my tongue yes which we know what it is yeah into the what yeah sure um wasn't fam- that the, wasn't that the yeah, one family no, show family light. family show <laughs> <laughs> um be honest uh, be honest man four okay four okay, okay. i gotta say four justin I'm I'm going lower than that. I'm just be honest, man. This is not me at all. Um, so this is a swing and a miss for you. Yeah, I'm going to. So they got they got two strikes right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to. So swing and a miss, or let's what a basketball term is this a air ball? Two air balls. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so two air balls. Well, back to back fouls. <laughs> two technical <laughs> fouls. All right. Well, um, I guess we could technically could 
almost foul out. <laughs> well, you, we're good. You, you get five. If we're going to NBA, we get six. Yeah. Is that the manager? Uh, yeah. Wow. Six and a half? Six and a six half. And a half. Wow. So we got four, two, and six and a half. She made a free throw. I think there was some home cooking in that rating over there. Um, okay. Um, Let's see. The tech guy's got a three. So we got four, two, six and a half, and three. Okay. Wow, this is pretty low. Doug, just because it can has... I, a, can I go again? Doug, just because it has yeah. a C on it, don't mean nothing. All right, I'm going to go do my disclaimer real quick. We are not sponsored by any of these beers at all, except for this one because Chris gave it to us. But uh, by these breweries or anything like that, we're just trying to get the name out there. Once again, please go out and try it yourself. We are not the gods of beer. Nope. Just go out there and try it yourself, you lazy bitches. Don't we listen to our got, ratings. <laughs> we all got different palates. Yep, just try it out because we're different. And Dougie, what's your rating? All right. I, I, let me let me review again. You said yours was what, Stephen? I got four. Okay, so for 49ers, you got a four. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's go with that. Two. Two. Three. Three. Six and a half. Six and a half. Five and a half. Five and a half. I'll go with five and a half. Okay. I got to be honest. I mean, it's my school. I'm I'm 100% Niners. I, I, yeah, this one's not. I, I actually like, I think, the Golden Nail or the Gold Lager. I, I, I think, the, yeah. The, the Gold Lager, the first edition. I, I think, think I actually better. liked it better. I agree. So I just did something different this so, week. So I took the averages of all of ours. Okay. And it's 4.2. Okay. So. And I will add this to the crack zone, nice. you know. I like that. Muse- library. Museum, library. So a CSR uh, average of a 4.2. And we probably should do that every week. Just, yeah, and you, cool. you said this is a pale L. Yeah, it's, it's a strong pale L. That's what it said. That's I think, a, but I think but that's, you said it's the alcohol. It's a 6.1. It's 6.1 for a pale L. I feel like that's pretty yeah. high. That's pretty yeah. high. It is. So, so, so 4, 4.2 average. So again, going back to the disclaimer. Yep. Um, and Cabarrus Brewing, hey, we've reviewed several of theirs. Mm-hmm. And hey, it's no knock. Not at all. It's just our, this is our ratings, and hey, please, go out, try it yourself, do all that good and stuff. And try some of their amazing beers to get. Yep. Not and, just this one. And yeah. support the Niners, go Niners. Yep. Go out. So now, are we we good? I think. So now we so, got a bit of a challenge that was issued. Oh, fuck, I gotta get up. Oh, yeah. Actually, so, friend of th- the show. That slipped my mind. Tampa Riot President Steve. Steve. Fitterich. I'm gonna say it. Our guy. He supports us big time. Oh, yeah. He's best friend of the show. And he put out a challenge this week um, on our Instagram. I guess our message. They, mm-hmm. He messaged us. And so he was kind of like, you know, talking about the last episode where we did shots. And he, he was talking about Justin. So he said he would actually quote, and help me, Stephen. He would pay money to see Justin, to see Justin do, do 10, 10 push ups after the crack zone. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, Steve. After the crack zone, and, and apparently I, I was intoxicated. Yeah, I mean, because we got a lot of comments about how you know Justin was pissed, he was talkative, he was this, he was that. Those shots, man, they were kicking him. So, well, apparently I need to take more. So, so there we go. So we, we're actually going to do. I think I think Tech Guy's going to video this. Is yeah, that correct. So we have evidence. I'm okay. getting on the floor All right, right so now. So here we go. We're going. We're going. We'll, hey, let's let's do. You want to do like a uh, color? One. Well, well, what Dude. we'll do is we'll we'll narrate like we're doing a broadcast. Oh like, yeah, like we're, this is a game. Yeah, I got you. ESPN. You know, yeah, like yeah. you know, like John Madden. You know, <laughs> he's got his arms here. Boom, he goes down. All right, Boom. so here, here he goes. He he's on he's on the rug. Here he goes. All right, he's, he's going take, down. He's going down. Oh, all right. Oh, there he goes. All Look right. at that form. You got one, one two, two, three, four, four five. Good form. Good form, John. Six. Good form. Seven. There you go. Eight. Oh, good timing. Nine. I was not moving. Ten. Look do at one. That. Do one. Do one more. Do one more. Come on. One. One. one, for, one, one, one for the money. Yeah. There, there I go. There you go. There we go. Eleven. Hey. Eleven. Hey man. Arms so, didn't quiver. Nothing. He did that shit. So we got it on video, and we'll post it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um. Yeah, we'll post Steve, it. Steve, challenge accepted, and right. Get your checkbook out. Yeah. Tell him. Tell him, Justin. You did it. Do it. Do I get to? select a uh, a price now he said he would pay money he didn't say how much just buy me a cheeseburger because after that <laughs> hey, one. from cookout from cookout <laughs> nowhere Sorry. else it's not a sponsor of the show but could be yeah well hey so it should be so steve we like to cut up with you man and we again i can't say it enough man we appreciate all yeah. the support you throw our way yeah um and the tampa right obviously i think those guys are actually they're like supporting us well so yeah 
listen, man, we like having fun with you. You always interact with us, so man. And again, um, use recovery. Yeah. Um, hey, speedy recovery too. Definitely. Which you have well. lately. So hey, Justin, good job, buddy. Way to represent. Yeah, you did, hey, man. So all right. CSR push ups. There we go. So now we're gonna go to question. Is that what we did? We come do, up with one. Do you want to do the one I had suggested? Or yeah, let's do it. Or let's, skip it. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. So we're going to go ahead, Steve. All right. So since you know tribute was to Betty White, she mm-hmm. was obviously a Hollywood actor, Hollywood star. So this uh, is the CSR question. Question, <laughs> question of the of podcast. The, of the podcast. So who do you think would play you? Um, in a movie about your life, who, who, who would you, star you? Who you think you think would be the best? Yeah, who is that? Who what would, we're doing? Yeah, yeah. Who do you think would play your okay. role the best as a okay. movie about your life? Okay. So I get I get to pick the actor that sure. I want. The, yeah. That would, you feel? Yeah, it would be would be you would be best representative of you. You know, I'm not just saying this because he's my favorite actor. I actually think that he, if he was a little younger, he could play me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Leo. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. All right, okay. I think he could he could pull me off. Yeah, uh, yeah. I I I think so. Yeah, that's fair. That's a good one. Plus I wouldn't it, have thought about that, but that's a good one. Yeah. I, think that, I think actor. I think that's a good one. Yeah. I'm still trying to think of mine, but you know, keep going. I like y'all's suggestion though. I said Jonah Hill for me. Kind of yeah. goofy, you know. Yeah. Kind of. I know he doesn't like being told this kind of the heavier set guy you know kind of goofy but he has a range you know what i mean he right. can do whatever he needs to do yeah you know and he's he, he's done well for himself oh, he's yeah, done he has. great movies yeah um but he's done comedies he's done right. um serious roles like just all over the place i just i think yeah. jonah hill will be playing me yeah that's a good one it's a good one um or seth rogan <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm which which you you brought up He's your favorite actor. Is that what you said? Leo? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's actually a question, too, which I mm-hmm. like. Um, I don't know. I'm still thinking about this, but the, I, I got to be honest. The one that came to my mind, I don't think it, maybe it doesn't apply. This is what I think, was Vince Vaughn for I, me. I kind of like Vince Vaughn for, for me. Yeah. I just kept thinking of Wedding Crashers, all that stuff. Just, no, that's a good one. I can I, really relate to that. I think Vince Vaughn would be a good one. These yeah. guys said for me, Bruce Willis. Not yeah. Which I actually like that, yeah. but Vince Vaughn's the one that I kept coming back to. Well, he he's gotten, he's kind of a he's a little sarcastic. He's sarcastic, <laughs> funny, yeah. yeah. But like any of his roles is like the guy. Yep. You, I hate there, you. He's there when you need him. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? You did the motorboat, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, no, I like did the Vaughn. motorboat. So yeah. that that was me. That's a good one. That Vince Vaughn's cool. But I do like Bruce Willis too. I, I was a good one, guys. Yeah. Should should we just randomly pick for these guys? I think we should. You do tech guy. You do tech guy well, so do tech guy. Mm. I don't know, Stephen. What do you think? <laughs> Henry Cavill. Kind of a nerdy guy. You know? I think Henry Cavill. What do you think? I don't know. Who, I, who you got? I don't know. Just uh, based off his personality, like not looks wise. Sorry, tech guy. You don't look like Henry Cavill. That's a good looking guy. Um, I mean, not and, saying you're not, but he's like, you know, different tier. Right. But, uh, just kind of based off personality. I think you, I think you play you well. Okay. And Justin, if you want to table it and we can talk about it next episode. Yeah. I don't, I was trying to figure it out. Cause it was spur of the moment. Out. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all right now. Silent manager. I, I'm still thinking. Um, Jennifer Anderson. I, I could see that. Honestly, I could see that one. I could definitely see that one. You know what? I, I'm, I'm still thinking, but I, I definitely see that one. Yep, I'm good with that. Look, look, Justin's still thinking. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip on these. We'll go, we'll go. Hey, we hit him. If post he, podcast hey, if he had done I'll... a shot, he'd be naming all kind of damn people. Oh yeah, You're and I got, the... and, and they better get off my lawn. <laughs> yeah, the hell off my lawn. Everybody get the fuck off my lawn. That's a good one, man. So. All right, all right, I like that. I yeah. like that. Set. That's cool. All right, so, I'm still thinking about that guy because yeah. I'm not sure I'm sold on yeah, the handicap yeah, guy. And you know, we could revisit it next week. That's fine. No but I'm gonna think about that one, but that one's you for now for me at least. All right, cool. All right, cool. So get off my lawn. I would get on my lawn. So we're gonna. So it's it's interchangeable. So so you're going on first. Yep. Okay. Cool. Hornets fans chanting fire rule at the game last night. Yeah. Oh. Because where have you ever seen that before? Thank you. And the guys wearing the shirts. Yeah. Did you see that post? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
But at an NBA game, you're po- you're, you're chanting "Fire NFL coach." That's sad. Fire Matt Rule. That's how bad it is. But it, I, would yeah. you agree? Yeah. Not just in Charlotte. I've never seen that. No, I've seen that anywhere. 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 No, only in Charlotte. Only in the CLT. But, it, but I mean, it, the fans see it though. Like, as as crazy as fans are in Philly, as crazy they are in, true. in you know Oakland Buffalo. or Buffalo, you've never seen another team like sport. And you're chanting to fire another team's head coach. That's true. That's a good point. Like yep. that is n- that should be telling to you. Like Tepper, like y- did you watch the game last night? I'm sure you saw Twitter. Somebody must have sent it to you. Yeah, there there's some way that he found out about it. He did. Right. I mean, come on, man. You know right. he did. So he's got people. Even if he ain't looking at social media, he's got people informing him of what's out there. Yeah. I mean, you've got to know what the that's sure. what the fans are chanting. Well, that's what and we the, talk about. And they're the, not even at an NFL event. Well, and that's what we talk about being out of touch with the fan base. Yeah. You know, you got to put your, your finger on the pulse right. of the fan base. Right. And the, and which is going to lead into what me and you're going to talk about in a minute. Yeah. The rule. The, the pulse of the fan base right now is just the fan base is fed up. Right. I mean, I, I think personally that Tepper can do what he wants. He's 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 the billionaire. He can do what he wants. Mm-hmm. But I personally feel when it comes to, to rule, I just feel like maybe he hadn't lost the locker room as supposedly some of the, the players are saying, mm-hmm. but he's lost the fan base. And that's for sure. Right. I'm talking about the majority. Right, and I mean, and so you could probably say Rule can get off your lawn, right? Oh, absolutely. Rule can get off your lawn. I told y'all two episodes ago, I've seen enough. He's kind of on the fence. I'm, 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 so y'all are going to explain. I'm on both y'all's sides, honestly. I've seen it. I've seen enough. So this is me playing devil's advocate by Rule. And that's what we do. So his first two years, he focused on defense. Mm -hmm. And what has the defense done? It's gotten better. It's gotten better. Like, top five better right so obviously his next draft and this next free agency our main focus should be offense Uh, and and obviously got to look at peace on defense still gonna do that anyways right but i like to see one year where he focuses on the offense and see where it goes okay i mean what what do you think do you think it's still going to be just a complete disaster i i just personally think it's not working his whole process, the whole thing is just not working. Right. I mean, you can call it maybe it's a maybe the process works mm-hmm. in college. Mm-hmm. It ain't to me the process, if whatever that means, it ain't working in the NFL. It's just not. So, so again, still playing devil's advocate. I like to see him go one year where he focuses on the offense. Right. Just just see what happens. Okay. And and that's fair. But at the same time. His demeanor and what he says and what he does—that's what I don't agree with. Yeah, I, I, I and you—you you were one of the first ones on the podcast to to talk about he's a snake. You don't trust him, right? So in other words, it's like he says one thing and does a completely different thing, and it's like, yeah, dude, your words are not meeting your actions or or whatever. Even in his press conferences, right? To me, and you've you've said to Steve, he looks lost. Mm-hmm. Like and you see him on the sideline, he he makes these facial expressions like he doesn't know what's going on. And what the fuck's going on? And maybe he does, but it doesn't look like it. Right. And what is perception? Reality. Perception a lot of times is people's reality. Mm-hmm. So that on the on its surface, that's why I tell y'all I've seen enough. Right. I've seen enough. Right. That but, but again, Stephen, I, I I understand, I respect what you're saying. Right. I just, that's just my thing. I think, you know, halfway through sure. next year and we're just just burning down just you know we just kind of get rid of it and be done but yep. i like to see what he can do focusing on the, the offense one year okay one off season justin uh that i'm i'm playing both sides honestly um my my thing is i, I want to see him draft an offensive you know draft I, yeah um my thing is his his attitude towards the losses it's like he just doesn't give a fuck what's his demeanor yeah and he's not making changes he's just like hey guys just go out here practice and then we'll go play football and then we'll go home and then we'll do the same exact thing next week right well how many times justin that's and that's a good point justin but how many times do you hear this or or do you or i guess how many times do you have to hear this i know y'all don't see it but the process is working 
we're not seeing it on the field, but it's working. See, that that's what pisses me off. It's I mean, like where else that, where else would you see it? You yeah. should be seeing it on the field. That's the only place you should but see it. But it's like yeah. it's like, dude, he's a used car salesman. That that, that that's the analogy I keep using. Yeah. You're telling me this is not a lemon or a clunker. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? When I get in it, it's a piece of crap. It's kind of like you ever see Matilda? Yeah. Yeah. He's he's yeah. like the dad from Matilda. Yeah. He's got the little gun that's is moving the fucking miles back. And yep. that and that's how I feel. All right. Uh and again, it, man, I'm not hating on the guy. I just right. it, to me it's just not working. Right. I'm sorry. Right. I agree. I'm just saying I like I said, I'm playing devil I I would like to see him go this year, but devil's advocate, give him a, one more year. Yeah. It is what it is. It's not a strong quarterback class anyways when you're a quarterback. Sure. Give him one more year. If we right. suck, guess what? Top of the draft next year. Well, yeah. obviously next year, if, if he comes back and, he, and it don't work, he's gone. He's got to be gone. I mean, he's gone. I, I but get, if we give him more year, I'm cool with it. Yeah. Not cool with it, but it is what it is. I'm fine to see where he can take it another year. Yeah. If it doesn't work out and we we bought him out, he'll be gone by midseason. Yeah. So, Definitely. won't even have to worry about it. All right. I, I have something on here, guys, and it's not copyrighted. It's nothing like that. But this is something I wanted to try to play on here. Okay, it's real quick. It's okay. a snippet. And this is how I feel whenever I hear Matt Rule press conference. Okay, y'all good with that? You okay if I do that? Just do it. It's not anything like playing somebody's. We don't own the right to this. There you go. No, that's how we, we don't. This, this is what I, I have to play this. If it comes up. Hold on. Y'all mm-hmm. talk while I, while, I, while I try to get it to play. Justin, how was your day? Uh, it's pretty good. I just chilled. Yeah. What would you do? Drink beer. <laughs> oh, here it goes. Here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. All right, y'all ready? Yeah. This is what I want y'all to hear. Crank it down a little bit, though. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit loud. What you just said What's that? is one of the most insanely idiotic <laughs> things I have ever heard. <laughs> At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. <laughs> that That's how I feel when I watch his press conference. Billy Madison. Bill Madison. That's it. That's how I feel. I'm sorry, man. I I saw that and I was like, that's it, man. Because that, that's how he makes me feel when I watch his press conference. I mean, you ain't wrong. No, I mean, and, and again, man, perception, man. That's it. That's it. I'm done with rule. I'm on a hush. I just think, personally, I've seen enough. All right. Do you want to do a quick get off my Re- lawn? Really or? quick get off my lawn. James Borrego, you shouldn't have taken Kelly Oubre out of the game. He was two threes away from, from NBA, NBA history. history. And how many times do the Hornets make NBA history that are good? That is good. Yeah, exactly. I agree 110%. The fuck? Guess what? Air five. Make it three for three. I agree 100%. I even said it out loud watching the game. I was like, why is he on the bench? Doug doesn't want to do the tinkle my yeah. <laughs> never seen never watched um oh, yeah. rocket power oh, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Yeah. But, right. what i said yeah, this it, I shit doesn't make sense it's ridiculous. so borrego get your shit together all right so who we go? next college basketball and this shouldn't take long right no, we haven't had a, that many games yeah, yeah. So, honestly uh let's see niners have not played i did want to mention that we talked about the um conference usa player of the week last week yep. it was jameer young who does lead Conference USA in scoring? Damn, nice. So I just wanted to mention that. Sweet. Can mini shout out. Good for him. To my alum, my you know, to my school. You're so a local way, Fort Niner. <laughs> way to go, Mountain Jameer. Near. Way to go, Jameer. I mean, let me drink this Niner beer. Go yeah, ahead, yeah. Go do. ahead. You can drink yeah. mine too if you want to. Yeah, you can have mine. <laughs> um. All right. Well, who do you want? Do you want to take it with anybody? Well, go ahead because I got college football more. So okay. So I'll go App State and like Davidson. Section. I'll go App State and Davidson, and then we'll yeah. all talk about Carolina. Cool. Yeah. All right. App State is seven and eight. They're seventh in the Sun Belt. Their last two games, seventy-one to fifty-five loss to Louisiana. Delft scored seventeen points and seven Cajuns. rebounds. Raging Cajuns. Yep. And then they won seventy-seven to sixty-nine. So the Raging Cajuns mm. beat them in football too. Hell, nice. Hey, <laughs> shut up. Seventy-seven to sixty-nine. Go Say it again. Nice. To U L Monroe, Delft had a fucking game. 29 points. Gregory, 15, 15 points, 8 rebounds. Alamancy had a double-double, 13 points, 10 assists. Mm. The next game is tonight against Southern Alabama. South Alabama. South Alabama. Yep, they're beating them 65-56 with a minute 52 left in the game. So suck that, South Alabama. You <laughs> South sons of bitches. Alabama, the Jaguars. Yep, and then we're going to uh, Davidson, bro. Uh, 11-2, and two, first in the Atlantic oh. 10. Gnarly, received, dude, gnarly. Received, that real quick. received three votes 
this this week to be ranked, you know, bro. Mm. Uh, game against uh, Disc- Diskeen. That's I, that's rad. Diskeen. How do you say that name? Duquesne. Whatever. And VCU <laughs> were postponed. So, fuck those teams. Uh, we did win our last game, eighty-eight to seventy-three at St. Joseph's. Lover Lawyer, twenty-five points. Jones had eighteen points, five rebounds. Our next game. Went country again oh, real quick. Going quick. Like, <laughs> that's Southern, Southern Davidson. Yeah. Yeah, it's South Davidson. <laughs> Next game is against Rhode Island on Saturday. And our stats, boy. Like, are you sure, dude? Dude, Lee, <laughs> tearing it up, boys. You don't even know what's going on. Mm. 17 and a half points, 6.4 rebounds, 2.3 assists. Damn. Word. Word to your motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. So, there's your Davidson up Yeah, that was, I don't that was what, amazing. I, no idea what the fuck happened Who halfway through care? it. That's like cool, dude. Hey, 11 to 2, dude. Three <laughs> votes. Hey, three votes to three be ranked. Votes. All right. What do you think? Oh, we got to go to the common one here. Yeah, it's our Hills. All right, so let's go, man. Hills took an L last night at at another another institution that well, I don't care much for. Well, well we had to win before well, that. We did have a win before that. That's right. Okay. So you know what, Justin? You take Justin, care take the win. Well, you know what? We're 10 and 4. Is that what yeah, Tar Hill sounds like? Which, that's, that's, that's cool. Yeah. I think they sound like, you know, from up north. We're 10 and 4, bud. Um, <laughs> bud? You know, Virgin- Virginia Tech's game got postponed. Um, oh, hell no. For the know, protocol. For uh, you, you know, we got a win against Boston College, uh, 91-65. And that, um, that, I'm going to tell you all, man, that was ugly. Mm. Uh, Love had 22. Ah. Um, Boston and Manic had 17. Yeah. And Baycott had 18 points, 11 rebounds. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Then, Doug, going to your game. The L to the Irish. Yeah. Negative. I mean, I mean, they they came back because the Irish went up a little while and yeah. you know pretty good in that game. It wasn't but, a terrible loss. But again, you mentioned that the that Stephen, you mentioned that the Hills were without a couple players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's so, yeah. So you know, but, so like you know, it's okay. I mean, like we, you know, we didn't lose bad man. But you know, uh, Baycott <laughs> had a had a pretty good game there. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. Tell us about it, bud. Yeah, bud. He had, uh, he had fucking uh, 21 points and fucking 17 fucking assists there, bud. Uh, rebounds. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fucking rebounds there, bud. Yeah, 17 fucking rebounds. And guess what? That's a fucking career high, bud. It's the same difference, dude. Damn, bud. 17 somethings. <laughs> and it was our career fucking high, bud. So what was our record again, sir? Oh, uh, we're fucking 10 and fucking 4. Sex in the ACC, bitches. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Bud. And yes, we were down Garcia with concussion and yep. Walton yep. McCoy in the protocol next game against virginia and do we God. have um i know they won their last game do we have a 13 fuck dude do we have Greatest an up, do we have an update because we have to talk about them remember i didn't even look at it well they did win they, yeah. they beat georgia tech cool at, yeah. at and i know you're gonna be shocked at at cameron sweet awesome you know, did they ever play anywhere else great they are awesome yeah fuck awesome dude. fantastic 13 again fuck got, dude. i got my devil horns up okay cool sweet cool Yep. So yep. we're yep. going. Yep. Are we going to do the the yep. top five? Uh, yeah. Do you want to update ACC? Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Wait, give me a second. I gotta get the book. And then we're we gonna do. You want to do top? Not do you want to do top five national after that? I'll look that up. Uh, I've got it written now. Okay. Go. Uh, wait a second. Hang on. My phone is not working. Wait, hang on. Hang on. I, I got, got it. it. I got it. I All got right. it. Please hit. All right. Baylor sitting at number nope. one. We're talking about the ACC. ACC update. Oh, my bad. My bad. My so bad. So just bad. before, whoever's in front of Carolina, that's what I'm saying. Miami's number one. Louisville's number two. Duke, third. Virginia, fourth. Notre Dame, fifth. Carolina, sixth. Okay. Cool. National top five. Hit it. Hit it, Justin. Oh, top five. Go, 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 go. It makes dude to make thing go right. Yo, would say that shit. It makes it do to make it out of sight. Yeah, just okay, national top five. Yeah, it won't fucking load. That's because it's Android. It's Baylor. <laughs> no, it's because, yep, it's Baylor sitting at 14 and 0. Duke at number two. Fuck Duke. Purdue at three. Gonzaga, Gonzaga at four. And UCLA at five. Fuck All off. Right. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, let's do women's. Yep. You, you want to do it? You got it. You go, and I, I'm looking. To, I know I had a screenshot of something. All right. Going. So, uh, do the women's update. national top five is the South Carolina Lady Gamecocks, who took, number one. Who, who took an L. Yep, they and did. Still remain number one. And still number one. They're that's good. Pretty, that's pretty strong. Stanford, number two. What's Stanford? Just mascot. The, 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 card, the, the trees? Ca- the Cardinal. Oh, Cardinals. So the no, lady, the Cardinal. The Lady Cardinal <laughs> is number two. Louisville. What's Louisville's? The mascot? Louisville. Card. 
the cards, man. Cards. So uh, the lady cards again are third. <laughs> <laughs> the, the lady wildcats are fourth with Arizona. Oh. And then the wolf, huh? There's no bulldogs in there? Not yet. We're getting there. <laughs> Number five, NC State. They're wolf pack. Well, they're the, they're <laughs> the, the lady wo- pack. They're the wolf pack. <laughs> and Duke is 17, 13. Fuck Duke. And then Carolina is 19. And and we can add Carolina is first in the ACC. Yep. Tied with three other teams. Suck it. But they are undefeated. Take that shit. Your mother's ass. Lady yeah. Tar Heels undefeated. Your mother's booty cheeks. Which is gnarly, mm. dude. Gnarly fucking dude. <laughs> it's fucking rad, dude. So that's it, man. I did think that was pretty strong, though, for South Carolina to take an L at Missouri and then still remain number one. Yeah. Mm. I mean, that, that's pretty that's pretty strong, guys. So there's your women college, I guess, college update. Yeah. So That upsets, but when I was doing my notes, mm-hmm. I have this one score. It's 73-67. Seton Hall at Seton Hall. Don't know the fuck I was writing what? there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. That's, I, that's the beers kicking I in. just looked at that. Wait like, a minute. Were you doing shots then? Seton Hall at Seton Hall? You must have been doing shots. I got to figure out who the hell that is. That's when you were watching. Well, Seton Hall, the mascot's watching, a pirate. You were uh, watching Civil War like. No, I was watching fucking the Steve, Judge Steve Harvey show, okay. which is cool. fucking hilarious, by the way. Yeah. If you guys I've haven't watched it. I've heard it's pretty good. God, tech guy watches it. What's next on the lineup over College there, football. Football. College, football. All right, let's go. Football. Go. All right, well, I've only got one thing on here, and sadly, it's Iowa losing their bowl game to Kentucky. And we all know who is the local Hawkeye. Mountain I think, it, I think it's Justin. Well, is it Jalston? Jalston. Yeah, Kentucky whooped our ass 20-17, to 17, and yes, that's an ass whooping. It's three points. Fuck off. All right, Petrus played like dog shit. <laughs> Not, Petrus is his guy. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? 19-30. 211 yards, one touchdown, three interceptions. It was Nova. Suck my... Yeah. Um, But, real quick. We are looking for a tight end, right? Yeah. And you sent that You sent that video. The tight end from Iowa... He did. ...is badass. No, yeah. I sent the video of... Of Linderbaum. Of Linderbaum. Okay. The tight end from Iowa... I thought you sent one where a tight end for Iowa caught a touchdown pass. I'm... Like I he might ran, have he ran like he caught a pass and ran all the way to the end zone. I might have. I don't. Know. I think you did. I saw something about Leaker Bomb, but yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Well, anyways, I'm look it up. He had seven catches for 122 yards and a touchdown. His name is Sam Laporta. So you like him? I mean, I've I've watched a couple games of Iowa's, and every single game he looks legit. Like, yeah, you know, he's big. He can catch the ball. He looks good. And that's what we need—a big old tight end go down there and catch the damn ball. Yeah, you did. It was on the ball. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Which, which you would love to draft. I would absolutely. Love I think that. we all would like that. Yep. So there you go. Uh, college football bowl. Pretty much all the bowls are done. Yep. It's Carolina wise, Cheez It Bowl number nineteen, Clemson one twenty to thirteen against Iowa State. That was Dabo Sweeney's one hundred fifty victory. Yep. Um, Taxler Gator Bowl 17th Wake Forest beat Rutgers 38 to 10. Correct. Um, Rucker, or sorry, Wake Forest reached 11 wins for the second time in program history. Pretty cool. Um, Hartman finished second in ACC history for total touchdowns with 51. Very good. Um, right behind Lamar Jackson. Uh, nice. blah, 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 blah. And then Duke's Mayo Bowl, that's the only bowl that counts. Uh, Carolina lost 38-21 to to the Gamecocks. Did which y'all see which, the video? Which, yeah, the, you're talking about where they gave him a concussion? Soccer Lions coach? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where they dumped they the mayo. They dumped the mayo on him and, mm-hmm. and put him in, I think he's in protocol. Yeah, well. In the concussion protocol. Good Steven thing would have did it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, do it to me right well, now. Well, we kind of talked about maybe doing it on the podcast. Right Dude, now. I you do it. That's fine. So That was our, if the Tar Heels won. Our, yeah, that's right. How about our, our 100th episode? I'll do it. Okay. So, 78 more to go. That's okay, all cool. you dug. But that water cooler was badass. Yeah, it was pretty badass. We were talking about we needed to get one mm-hmm. of those. I agree. Uh, Hal went 12 of 20, 205 yards of touchdown, sacked four times. Oh, well, go figure. Yep. That is 48 times this year, which is second most yep. in NCAA. Yep. Uh, Brooks went for five rushes, 72 yards, downs. Our guy threw receptions yep. for 62 yards. Uh, Joiner for South Carolina was 9-9 nine nine with 160 yards and a touchdown. The running back. 160 yards and a touchdown. Um, their receiver, Bell, five receptions, 159 yards, two touchdowns, killed, and his longest was 69 yards. Killed him. Nice. nice. I mean, he, he killed him, though. So, 
that was the Duke Stanwell. And that was a little – I mean, I think the Heels were a 12-point favorite yeah. in that game. I mean, we walked in – I mean, we left, finished season six and seven. South Carolina was seven and six. And yep. South Carolina had like an up and down season. They did. They did. So, hey. And I like their coach, man, Beamer. Yeah. That's, you know, Beamer's son, but, Frank Beamer. Oh, yeah. Up and coming coach. Yeah. Uh, but, hey, shout out to the Gamecocks, Joyner, Harris, and Bell. They killed us. Good for y'all, man. Yep. Get that Duke's Mayo Bowl win. You and since he got hit so many times, it was announced this week that several Tar Heels were going pro. Yeah. Including Sam Howell. Yep. And so, two of our offensive linemen. Who right. I hope to God the Panthers don't Right. Address. So, you know, good for him. Local Why kid. Not? Again, local kid. <laughs> Sam Howell, local kid. Yeah. Um, you know, hey, you never know where he's going. Right now, I think he's projected late first round. No. Uh, but we'll keep an eye on him. Yeah. Yeah, see so where know, he goes. I just want to know how how warm or hot that mayonnaise was to just slide out of that thing. Dude, like it, was, it, it was, uh, yeah. I don't care. Because, you know, like a mayonnaise jar, yeah. it's kind of oh, yeah. in there. Oh, yeah. And that, it just. What well, would be worse, cold or hot? Hot. Hot. Definitely hot. Yeah, definitely hot. You think so? You yeah. like heat miser? Hot. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm just wondering. I'm just throwing it that out there. That would be disgusting. Yeah. I mean, either but, way. It's, yeah, you don't like mayonnaise. But 100th episode. I'll, I'll do it. I'll dump it on him. Okay. We got it. I'll eat it. It's on record. <laughs> so. Any more bowl updates? Uh, Except for what's coming up. Yeah, that, that's all I got. Yeah. So we got the we got the national championship coming up Monday night. Yep. Yeah. Georgia Bama. And we, you know, here at CSR, we had a little when when our friend of the show Kevin was mm-hmm. on guest, you know, guest. We all randomly and we didn't like we didn't draw. We mm-hmm. just all picked, and it was funny because it all worked out. Yeah. Um, I took Bama, which in the beginning of the season, me and Stephen both said that Georgia. Yep. Was going to be our but. When they put a whooping on Georgia, I, I flipped. Yeah, real quick. Steven took Georgia. Yep. To pick to win a national championship. Kevin took Michigan. Sorry, Kevin. I'm not. And our good old Justin took Hi. the Bearcats. Yep. Cincy. They had a good year too. They had a good yep. year. That, that was my heart pick. I really wanted them to win my I heart. I think I think a lot of people did. Because yeah. cause y'all you two guys were the first and in one of our episodes early but like beginning of college football. Y'all were like, you know, we're tired of Clemson. We're tired of Bama. Mm-hmm. So I think a lot of people were that way. So go Georgia. So you're going Georgia? Yeah. Okay, oh, cool. F- don't go Georgia. So we need to Why? go ahead. I Every mean, team you pick fucking loses. Oh. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> go so, Alabama. Yeah, this fuck, uh, okay, this okay see, but you know, knows, uh, I tell you, yeah, all my teams me. stink. Yeah, so. I know. I'm just fucking with Justin. So if you guys. Go refs. Is that what we want to do? We want to We want to make predictions? No. I'm oh. going to let. Okay, here. I, I retract my. Okay thing okay i'm gonna let y'all go since y'all are the two that picked the so teams. we're because we're still in yeah. yeah okay okay so i'll do that what the, what the hell happened back damn there? i think the knicks has hit a buzzer beater wow looks like they won the national championship <laughs> <laughs> what is the knicks <laughs> that's true something something crazy has happened because the cold crowd's going oh yeah nuts. they're going crazy man was it kemba that was rj barrett oh was it barrett oh god where'd he go to school 13 <laughs> fuck dude yeah, oh, dude, look how pissed they are. Fuck yeah, you, Boston. Look, look, look. look. <laughs> that looks like us at a Panther game. Can they show that the fucking like, replay? That looks like a, it was a, any damn sporting it event does, ever. Man, it does. <laughs> doesn't matter what it is. It All is. right, so so back back to the prediction. Oh, hold on. Oh, shit. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Good yeah. shot. Oh, oh wow. shit. Yeah. Was, it, was it Barrett, too? Yeah, it was Barrett. Wow. So, Steven, you want to go first or me? What? We're going to predict the Nash championship. I thought, so, we, were, I thought we already had picks. No, so, score. Score. Oh, score-wise? We're going to write a score down, man. I'm going to go 28-22, Georgia. Ooh. Okay. I'm going 30-18, to 18, Bama. Wow. To 18? Yep. Wow. You know, it would have been funny if one of y'all picked the, the other team. The other team that y'all I thought I, I couldn't do it. I thought I, about doing this. Although, Chicago. I do think Georgia's yeah. defense is legit. And bam, I just called them. But I'll say this about, you know, my daughter goes to Florida and, you know, so it's SEC. And Florida, Georgia, it's a big rival. When we went down for the cocktail party, they Mm. were at Georgia, beat Florida. And I told all the Georgia fans, man, I said, look, you know, you guys, I think I picked, I told, I picked them preseason national champ Mm -hmm. or whatever. But I told them, until you beat Bama, it don't matter. Yeah. And guess what? They ain't done it yet. So we'll see what happens. Now they should have plenty of motivation. Yeah, 
They should, and they look good against Michigan. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. But and again, I think Georgia is favored. Yeah, from Vegas, they are yeah. favored. It just it is kind of crazy that you know Bama can play Auburn until like what four overtimes. Yeah, but then and lose to A and M. Yeah, but then like Georgia just couldn't get over that hump. In the I, SEC I think championship. sometimes, man, it's just mental. It is. It's just they get in your head. I, mm-hmm. I really do. So, so Stephen, no disrespect, but bad luck to your pick. Um, go roll tide, baby. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> what? Th- that's such a cool thing to say. The roll tide. Like, what does Georgia have? Bulldogs. Go yeah. Bulldogs. Or, 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 and y'all know that what the or, dog's or, or, name is, right? Fucking Georgia. Uga. Do you know what that stands for? Ugly ass. Fuck. University of Georgia. Okay. <laughs> So there you go. Just go. <laughs> so there we go. We're on record. Now, fuck George. Fuck Bama. <laughs> <laughs> You're not in, but do you want to make it a prediction? Yeah, I'll make it a damn prediction. Do it, man. I'm going to say Alabama gets kicked out for being dumb. Iowa steps in and beats <laughs> fucking Georgia. Hey, in the damn, why does that not surprise me? Yeah. Peters goes off for a thousand yards. The same guy just threw three interceptions against Kentucky. Shut the hell up. <laughs> God dang. <laughs> so there we go. So there we go. <laughs> so good. That's it. Fuck. All right. Well, that, there College we go. football, good? No, I have nothing else. I don't think. Anything else? No, we're good. Okay. Where are, we at? Where are we at? Shout outs? Yeah. Um, what did we say shout out? There was one. Oh, we're going to talk about Sam Mills. Yeah. Right? Got, yeah. Go ahead. So shout out. And this is, I think, three-way shout out. We're going to talk about Sam <laughs> Mills. Nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good catch. <laughs> So three way, <laughs> you said so, that was good. Yes. That was good, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's, he's dying over here. He's, he's dying over here. I wish I could have got a picture of his. Fa- yes, <laughs> it, was, it was a little slow for me. I had oh to take my. another drink. Jeez. Okay, go ahead. But yeah, Sam Mills being a finalist for the NFL Hall of Fame. Yes, yes. we are all pretty stoked about that. Um, Round of applause. Yes, well earned. Keep pounding. That's where we got our mo- that's, yeah. that's where we got our motto from. And again, you know, we do have to, and a lot of people don't like to admit this, being that I'm not a Saints fan, but we do have to share that honor with the Saints. Yeah, he spent eight seasons down there. Yeah, um, and they did induct him into their Ring of Honor. Yep. Um, so hey, man, couldn't be more happy. And this is his last chance. Mm-hmm. Um, this like it's the third time, so this is the time he's got to get in. So right. I know his son is up with Rivera in Washington, or. You know he's up there, so. of course. Yeah. So you got to be happy for the family. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I, I really, hope, I hope he makes it. Yeah. And then, and Jared Allen, yeah, who and, played and this you, one year, our, gr- our greatest year that we've had as a Panthers, yeah, franchise. Yep. Yep. Jared and, Allen. And remember, we were talking about, you know, we got Reggie White. Reggie White. Hey, right. hang, on, hang on. What number did Jared Allen wear? Sixty-nine. Nice. 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 Three way. Nice. Three way. <laughs> so, and then the late Kevin Green. Yeah, definitely. So, but yeah, man, shout out to Sam Mills, the family, man. We're very proud. Hey, man, keep pounding. For sure. So I like it. Well, who else? What else we got? You got some? Oh, you're just. Oh. Yeah, I'm looking, I was trying to fuck Doug up, but he he's was trying not. to get me again. Dude, he was not. He it was, was just funny. It was like a eureka moment, wasn't it? I, went, <laughs> yeah. I looked at you and I went like, yeah. <laughs> it was like cool, man. I, I wish I did a video. That, Dude, was, that, that was so funny. So what else? you had you had a shout out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, who here is a mama's boy? I am. I am. Well, it's my mama's birthday on Tuesday the 11th. Oh, cool. Happy birthday so, to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Yeah. Uh, birthday. Okay, I, yeah. Mm, we'll say Steven's mama. It's like, it's like another mama T. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Happy birthday, mom. Love yep. you. Yes. You're my world. You're everything. Love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, young she, lady. Young lady. Yep. Twenty five again. So there you go. Yeah. So there you go. So there we go. Oh, okay. Hold on. We got. I got. Might have an incoming text. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, we 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 did forget. We did forget Jesus on this. Christ. We forgot about this. Okay. Go ahead. We didn't do the fantasy update. Oh. Oh, dude. So we got to do that. Oh, yeah. yeah please go right ahead. So here we go. Fantasy, the Lake Norman riot. Mm-hmm. Fantasy final standings. Yeah, this would happen. We had to do this. Yep. But but it is serious, though. Oh, it, yeah, of course. We got to give props. Definitely. To my wife, Teresa. Yeah, definitely. Who 
first year she ended up winning the championship. Yep. Yep. Beating friend of the show, Shay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Also known as Miss Meow. Miss Meow. Mm-hmm. Um, so we shout out to again Teresa. Had a, hey, she pretty much led the whole year. Round of applause. She ki- I know she kicked. She kicked my tail. I ended up finishing seventh at a five and nine record. Said, I finished ninth. Um, yeah, and Justin, you did make the playoffs. Yeah. Um, only one besides you know I guess the group. But yeah, shout out man, championship fantasy. She kicked all our asses. So. Fuck fantasy. And it, and, hey, 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 Steven, and it was a all-female final. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't know what the hell. We never admitted that we knew what we were talking about or we even know what we're doing. So I, I guess, just it, I guess guys it showed. With the cool names. I guess it showed. <laughs> so. Dude, I don't care. The greatest thing ever. I don't think we ever talked about this when we were drafting our team. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like. Oh, God. And it, it, it actually wouldn't have been a bad pick. You should have kept him. I don't know if you dropped yeah, him or not. I did. But it was like the 10th round. And he sees okay. he sees a Brown. He said, "No fucking way! I got him." <laughs> Clicked it. He thinks it's AJ Brown. You know who it is? Antonio Brown. Which we didn't even hit. <laughs> uh, I said, "Motherfucker!" Which is fine. And the sad thing is, guess what? When you cut him, I picked him up. Yeah, he had a good. He had a decent yeah. year. Hey, he is on my final roster right now. Well, you might as well. well it's over. He's yeah. that's the only roster he's on because Tampa Bay cut him today. But doom. But real quickly, we were we were going to talk about. It. We'll do it quickly. No, no, just just let's just leave it. You want to just leave yeah, it? Yeah, let's just well, leave it. let's just say we'll he's no longer on an NFL yeah, roster. Him. Yep, don't even so, talk about. It. Fuck him. That it? Anyone? You got a shout out? I, I know Justin always does the ending shout. Oh, uh, really quick, really quick. Yeah, um, a guy I work with, Richie. Yeah, you know him, Steve. Okay, yeah, cool, no, Richie. Cool. Um, yeah, uh, he has supported us a lot. Okay, cool. He's always, know. you know, every time I pass him, he's like, dude, I just listened to the episode. It was awesome. Y'all had me cracking up. Thank like, you, Richie. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Richie. So, thanks, man. Keep listening. Yeah. We love it. Yeah, man. Sweet. There you go, Richie. You're my guy. Yeah. Like Richie. <laughs> Three-way shout out. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we go. All right. Look at Steve, man. He's, he's killing. Now I got him going. He Jesus likes the three-way stuff. Fucking <laughs> Christ. It's, well, there's three of us. <laughs> so... <laughs> All right, so what else? Is that it? I think that's it. You want to hit social media there? Yeah, do do this. Do your normal thing. There. Uh, fuck you, tech guy. Um, yeah, uh, we're on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Spotify, Twitter, <laughs> Twitter. Yeah, we are on Twitter, right? Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you had me questioning myself. He went. Twitter. He went. Twitter. He went Twitter. a little north. Yeah, yeah. Twitter and the and the jazzy. We're on we're on, we're on all that uh, Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcast, mm-hmm. which I don't think anybody fucking. Yeah, but it's there. Hey, but it's there for them. It's, it's there. there. So that's, get that's, on there. That's the Android group. Correct. Please like our stuff. Twitter. Follow us. Share it. Get it out there. Tell your grandma. Tell your mom. <laughs> tell your dad's dad. Tell your dog. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but no, guys, get out there. Like our stuff. Uh, follow us. We really appreciate it. Yeah. And we talked about suggestions for Crack Zone. Yeah, sure. And we did get a suggestion from friend of the show. So keep them coming, guys. Yeah. We want yeah. we want to try different beers that maybe we're not thinking about. So keep those suggestions coming. Definitely. Is that it? Definitely. Do we miss anybody, Justin? We good? Um, silent good. manager, thank you. Oh, there you go. Tech guy? I know you already said one thing about yeah, tech, guy. Fuck tech guy. Hey, we're working on 300 <laughs> followers on Instagram. We're at 207. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. So, like Justin said, tell everybody you know. Keep smacking that. Smacking that. Follow button. Follow button. But I do want to say he gives Tech Guy hell, but we do appreciate Tech Guy. No, yeah, yeah we do. He, he right. knows I love him. He's yeah. right. It's like that, you know, reverse love thing. Yeah. 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 So. Fuck him. Tech Guy, thank you for what you do, sir. Yeah. Yeah, thank All you. Right. All right, so we're going out. You sexy son of a bitch. We, we going out, guys. We yeah. going we out. We in an episode 22, mm. so here we go. We, <laughs> and I knew you didn't do it, and I knew it. <laughs> We're supposed to do it together. We. Ready? No, no. We, we are. are C. S. R. There we go. Did you do it too? No.